Hello everyone, welcome. Happy New Year. Hope everyone's having a good day so far. Um, it's 1.19 and I'm going to try to start drinking. Which means I gotta keep it going for at least 10 hours. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I think I got the power. Tibbs, you got 5.3 thousand channel points. You coming for a card? Well, you're welcome. Come and claim it. That's what I say. Here's my magical potato. He's got a soul patch. I might be, I might be, uh, I might be mixing up his hair. He's got Noctis hair right now, and I think he could, uh, he could stand to have different hair. I've also got it in big UI mode. This is gonna look hideous for a second, so watch out for that. It's gonna look like a big baby's toy. I was playing with a controller the other day, trying to figure out how to rearrange the UI to make it more playable. Let's see. First of all, we hit this guy. And then we flip that guy. Okay. So this is weird. This keeps moving. I hmm. I can't tell. Okay, it doesn't seem to actually. Yeah, change. I didn't know if your uh, your your HUD layouts scaled. If if it's. I don't know what I'm saying. If it, like, kept different settings based on your scaling settings, and it doesn't appear that's the case. HUD layout isn't cloud saved? No, um, apart from that. I didn't know if you, like, changed the scaling settings if it would change your HUD layouts, but, uh, no big deal. I just gotta move my stuff around a little bit more. I'm gonna have to find something that works for both, which might be a challenge. So I'm not sure where to put the stupid parameter bar. I feel like... I feel like I never look at it, but then when I move it out of the way, I don't know where it is. <laughs> this is a silly thing. Hey, Peek. Thank you for the resub. Oh, Borden. Jay Borden, thank you for the gift, by the way. Jetholomew, thank you for the sub. Any recommendations on G Fuel flavors with their current deal? I enjoyed Hype Sauce and Spicy Demonade. Um, I'm a big fan of just watermelon in general. Watermelon and then strawberry kiwi is really good. Do you have a playlist for those old videos you put on breaks? No, um, because it's just a bunch of randomized video clips, so there really is no playlist. Um, I just, I have a folder with a bunch of random clips that I've, uh, I've edited out. And, uh, that's what it is. A, a video plugin plays those randomly, so that's what you get. Uh, I do, however, stream them in a block sometimes as its own thing. Uh, that usually happens on Friday. So... If you're, if you're interested in just watching it as its own thing, you can check that out. I gotta admit, I've been very inconsistent with that lately. Because, uh... I don't know, life in general has been inconsistent lately. Ooh, Hedgehog! Thank you for ordering G Fuel. Yeah! It's good! It does the trick! It's, uh, it's cheap, it's efficient, it does exactly what it needs to do. It's refreshing, gives you that... Gives you a nice, a nice energy lift without being too much of a bomb, like... I, I've never really gotten jittery on G Fuel, but then again, I've always been pretty judicious with how much I put in my body. Um, am I heading into Bosja? Yeah, Captain. I've, I've been, I've been tussling, I've been tussling and tussling around Bosja. I basically spent all day in Bosja yesterday trying to just basically remember how to play, but then also grind it out a little bit. So what's, what's at the end of the quest line in Bosja? Because I'm, I, I'm only there to try to get these, these assholes. Uh, the memories. Because those turn into a uh, weapon glam or like a relic upgrade. And I, n I need that shit. I, I need item level uh, a huge dungeon. Ooh. Yeah? Okay, then it's worth it. Then it is worth it. I will absolutely do it. So I need I need 285 to... Uh, oh, Jesus. My shit's all broken. I need 285 to, uh, to fight Ruby. Emerald weapon? Which weapon? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, Emerald Weapon. Alright. Doing Fates is faster for memories. Yeah, okay. Maybe I should just do that, but... I also want to play through Bosch in front, so... I This this does both. It's a large-scale Fate that's close to a dungeon. Mm, okay. I figure I'll do Bosch, um to, to get through the quest line. And then, uh, yeah, fill in, fill in whatever. But yeah, boss your time. Crafted items are higher eye level if you're looking... Yeah, I have 316k. I've never been that rich in Final Fantasy XIV, so I don't know if that's going to get me much. I might be able to buy... I might be able to buy my way to, to 485. Maybe. So actually, I've been putting my party list here. 
Because I want to, like, I want to clear the center and the top of the screen to sort of see what's going on. Uh, so I can, like, visually track, um, cues a little more. And also, if the party list is up here, it's just, like, way too far away. I just don't really look at it that much. So, it's starting to get a little more ridiculous looking. Um, it's looking a little more pro-MMO. Doing this to get the memories can be like 10 hours of playtime versus fates are like 3. Yeah, but this way I can- I get progress on the, um, on the quest lines, right? So, it makes sense to me. I still want that dungeon. Check your currency tab, go convert whatever tomes. So, yeah, I've got these. Um, I don't know. In the past, there was absolutely nothing to spend those on. Can't tell if the game's quieter than usual. Hold on. I'll crank it a little bit. Music's pretty sick, although in Bajja, I don't know. Wait, also, can you queue for roulettes while you're in the Bajjan front? Why am I so bad at this? I don't want duty menu. Oh, maybe that maybe that means I can't. Okay, never mind. Allegory like times get 490. Yeah. I need him though. I gotta have him first. Okay, so it's either it's either do roulette. Cause I need I need tomes too for gear. Don't forget that Heaven's Turn event? Oh yeah, that's right! That is that is 14's New Year's event. What is uh what are they rewards for it? Do you get like fireworks? Do you get a cool hat? Oh what my beverage is at the moment? It's a... Uh, it's a Voodoo Ranger uh, 1985 IPA. They gave it to me for free. So I'm drinking it. Looks like an anime fight up ahead. Lo, lo and behold. Anime fights. I'm gonna stop for anime fight. Hey, what's up, Twisted Irish? Crap. I don't want to die this, e this early. Oh, wait, wrong one. I'm trying to remember, like, I moved around a lot of my hot bars too, so I'm trying to remember a lot of my attacks and stuff like that. Trying to make it so I actually use more of my, like, supportive skills. <sighs> Probably done enough on this one. If I remember my fates, you can just kind of take off after a while, since your progress will be, uh, counted when the event finishes. Hey, White Rabbit! Happy New Year! Happy New Year to you! Just got to level 50. You're making it through the story. Nice. Yeah, that's, um... Let's see, you're at level 50. That's kind of about when the story, I think, starts... This is such a JRPG thing to say, but I think that's about when the story starts getting interesting. Oh, Boz just neat. It teaches you to not be in a hurry. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up, found gamer? Now that I'm quarantined for the next two weeks. Oof. Well... I'll be around. Hopefully make that time go by a little faster. Did you, uh, did you run into somebody? Are you symptomatic? But well, welcome! Hope, hopefully your new year's- ah. Hopefully your new year's is going well. To do any of the Puppets Bunker stuff. Yes. I, uh, I did both the, um, both the raids. Yay! Got it from work at an Amazon facility. Ugh. God. Well, let's just hope that they, uh, they don't plas pass workplace immunity for, for COVID cases. Feels like a, feels like a solid and profitable class action lawsuit. Hey, what's up, Quintonius? It has been a while, yeah. New sub badges. All for you. Getting paid for the two weeks off? Okay, that's not so bad then. That's not so bad. I can take that. Two weeks to kick back. Although, man, it, sh it sure is a state of things when uh, you got to get sick to have some uh, a nice time off of work. I remember kind of thinking that in like 2018 and 2019, 
kind of wishing that I would get like low key sick so that I could just kick back for a while. I could just sit at home and just take some time off. Didn't happen though. Curse my impossibly domineering uh, immune system. Just bought a new bong for the new year. Well, shit, man, you got you gotta break it in. You're gonna get to know that. Whoa, that was weird. Get to know that bong like the back of your hands. Was it gonna take so long? <laughs> I mean, the fights are worth like a thousand. I guess those events are worth like five hundred. As long as I don't die, I guess it'll go by pretty quickly. God knows what's carrying you. Oh yeah, it's a little. It was a little mechanical hand, kind of carrying me around like a stray cat. I guess I should probably roll, roll with these guys. Yeah, roll with these guys. Quickly, he says. Yeah, how long does it take to gr to like get through the Bosjan, uh, the Bosjan uh, quest line? Shit, I shouldn't track that much aggro. I don't want to die. I just said I don't want to die. Here I am trying to die. It's best to group up. If you group up when you're doing the fates, though, does that also carry into the uh, the like skirmishes? Hey, Fair King, thank you for the gift. Happy New Year. Hold on a minute, I'm trying to figure this out. The main Otata? Potato... The main potato? I don't know, I'm trying to figure that one out. That's, that's a mystery to me, but... Yes, we all need a little bit of Final Fantasy XIV in our life. Found Gamer, thank you for gifting us up. I don't know, this this is very much a, a nerd-ass game. I, I recommend this game to everyone that I can, but I don't... I'm not shocked whenever they, they're like, Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is a very polite, okay, sure. I'd like to be sick and take a break, but no rent means no work. Yeah. Well, I know the feeling. <laughs> no time to sleep. Yay. I haven't even been using any of the, like, the holster abilities. I just threw a lot of potions in there. I guess I should... Might as well use that? Who's the cutest Final Fantasy boy? Hmm. That's tough because that could include a bunch of characters who aren't super realistically physically depicted. Some of the 16-bit Final Fantasy boys are pretty cheap, pretty cute. Fourteen is my favorite game to grind. If I ever financially recover from COVID, I will definitely resub. Okay, as long as you promise to like. Spend a bunch of spend a bunch of nice things on yourself first. That's the rule. You can resub to me, but I'm gonna ask you what you did for yourself, and you better have a really good answer. Uh oh. Oh. Just so many sparkles, and some of the bigger fights. I'm yeah. I'm gonna have to turn that stuff off. It's impossible to see anything. <laughs> what if Free 70 was nice for them? Oh boy. You've re you, you really put a thought in my head now. I don't know I don't know that I have a good reply to that. Oh, Jay Borden, thank you for gifting a sub. Aw. Aw, look at that. 2020's already turning out pretty great. Gotta look past all the sparkles. Yeah, I guess so. Is it possible to develop the anime vision to see what you need to see through that? For me, it's mostly like for raid boss fights uh, when there's a giant character model trying to telegraph an attack or like you have to see how they're positioned. If they're gonna do a cone attack or an AOE or something like that. It can get hard to see where they're oriented. Like you see an arm sort of comically sticking out of this Looney Tunes cloud of anime magic and you have no idea where this laser is going to shoot. Uh-oh. Hell yeah. It's very much possible to learn how to see through it. 
the EXs and Savages, there's also only 8 and not 20. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's mostly like the 24, the 24 fights where there's just sparkles everywhere. But I imagine, yeah, you, you learned what shapes and like profiles to look for. Use your, use your elf eyes to see through the fog. I mean, I got amazed that people could track what was going on in like League of Legends fights. There'd be so many anime sparkles and flashes going off for individual abilities. What am I drinking today? Well, I'm starting with a, uh... Voodoo Ranger 1985 IPA. Uh, I have some Buzz Balls chilling in the fridge. And the Piste de Resistance, a watermelon for Loco. Which I'm sure is shit gonna crack into later. Just gonna play some Beat Mania. Oh, I also gonna... I'm thinking about going back to my Animal Crossing village. Because New Year's in Animal Crossing, actually Ferret King, you'll probably remember, but... Um, I have some specific life memories of spending New Year's in Animal Crossing, and also I haven't been in my village in like nine months, so it'd be interesting to go back, talk to everybody. It'll give me the, uh, it'll give me the, the ghostly feeling of reconnecting with a bunch of lost friends. You saw the, all those pictures? Man, me too. They're scanned somewhere. <sighs> Weird night. <laughs> Being expressive. Oh, it's a, it's a crab man. Look at how angry he looks. Alright, now I'll get to see if I've like... Oh shit, I forgot. Forgot to broadcast my wares as a healer. For pickup groups, so I might be a little too late. Uh-oh. I'm freeballing it now. Okay. That's okay. I'll just look for people on the ground. If this golden teddy bear man goes down... Oh, okay. I will revive him post-haste. Huh, that's a little... Uh, it's a little small. I had to make it so much smaller because of... Uh, what is it? It's like... There we go. Like, when it scales up, it ends up taking tons more space. Alright. So when I when I put it on, like, 150 for playing with the controller, it's like, boosh! It just takes over the entire screen. But maybe that is a good layout. That's a lot of shit, right? Look at all these meters and crap. Look at all these sparkles. Man. There's no way anybody looking at this would want to play this. What a mess. <laughs> what an utter mess. Talent gaze? I also need to- I need to move this up. Ow. Okay, I'm dead. Alright then. God damn it, stop. No reason for that to be lower. Okay. Uh, I revived into some demon hands. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna try to walk away and hope I don't get killed. All right. Everything's fine. You have room in your fellowship, or are you full now? No, I'm sure I have room. Uh, I will try my best to uh, add you. Uh, I don't know what I want to do with these hands. You don't appear to be doing anything, Mr. Hand. What? Oh! Oh, wait. The beams probably can't cross? Ow. Okay, I don't... Whatever. Everybody's really close. I want to get closer. Hey, what's up, Requiem Bell? Oh. The man's is down again. Shit! No! Okay. I see it now. It goes to the sides, then it goes... It's like halves and halves. It's 
one of those. Okay, coffin nail. I gotta, I gotta wait for the, or keep an eye on the uh, cast timer for that. That's the thing I keep not seeing. It's just the cast bars. I gotta make sure to look for that more often. Love that sound. Holy J MMORPG, yeah. Final Fantasy XIV is like, it's kind of like the end of the line for uh, for intense gamer weeaboos. Let's see. Medica 2 is always a good call. Uh, here we got him. Okay. So you want to pull the hands into the center. Why is my hand moving? You have to hit the hand? What the? <laughs> I don't understand that mechanic at all. I got touched by the evil hand again. Yay! What about Fantasy Star? I might have been Fantasy Star. Oh, okay. It only moves when you're looking away from it. Gotcha. Oh, shit. I'm gonna get murdered. I might have gotten out in time. Uh, and you want to get all the hands into the blue circle in the middle without them touching you, it seems like. Ah, fuck! God damn it! Dropping metal like crazy. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't want to get killed by the stupid hands again. Okay, I'm waiting for him to do coffin nail or whatever. I think. Not casting anything. Grasping Ranker. Oh, okay. That's hands. Curative magic, you say? I can resurrect somebody. I didn't, actually, though. Oh, shit. That sucked. That sucked a lot. Now the triage. And a lot of people on the floor after that one. Everybody take a nap. Let's see if this works. Congrats, you did it. Yeah, question mark? I don't think I came out ahead on that one. Oh, I think I did, actually. Man. Every time you hit the floor, uh... Every time you hit the floor, you lose some metal. I guess this... Now that I think about it... This whole area is kind of... Kind of plays like Final Fantasy XI. Um, wait to do the red? I did. I've done the red a couple times. And it sucks, yeah. Luckily, I, I did, I did most of, like, I think I did, I've done red chocobo like two to three times. And, uh, each time, uh, yeah, I died like five or six times. I got better at it. I eventually, I think, started figuring it out. The big thing that got me, um, that I kept getting killed with, was there's that there's that ground indicator that says there's AOEs that are going to go in a direction. I get that mixed up with the ground indicator that says there's an attack that's going to push you. So I would like stand in that one attack and it would hit me like three times and I'd die. So I've learned my lesson there. I think. Also, yes, somebody did ride away on a bed. I want to find that one. It's a flying bed that like your character is just like holding on to as it takes off. Been a while, but Dagon Rampa 2021, the year you beat it. I I'm okay saying that. I can put that on the uh 
I can put that on the, the itinerary for sure. Uh, Danganronpa, Shen, Shenmue 3, all the Yakuza games. A lot of delightful games. Yeah, anime season. I want to get around to like Dragon Quest 11. Uh, the Xenoblades. Shit, I barely got here in time. Yeah, Shenmue 3. Haven't beaten that yet. Still gotta beat that. Ace Combat 7? Yeah, I do. I'm okay with Ace Combat. Ooh. The Magitek fight, I don't remember being that bad. There's something screwy with it. Um, oh yeah, it does like the it does like the con concentric spirals of AoEs. Um, yeah, Magitek boss fight's pretty pretty intense. I, I eventually like God, you just have to dance between the raindrops for that shit. Like Chris Klein in Street Fighter, The Legend of Chun Li. Little Versailles. Thank you for the sub. Uh, Revalanche Glide, thank you for the sub. Happy New Year to you too. We tried Red Dead 2 on Series X. I haven't. No. I mean, if I were going to do it, I'd probably play it on PC, but... I watched anyone do the duels yet. Not yet, no, but I want to. Next time I see a duel, I'll, I'll definitely s stop by and watch it. Oops. Where the... There's a dead body on the ground. I want to I wanna res him, but... hard to remember where you left off in these games? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, the storylines... The storylines also unravel over the course of years, so there's so much... So much... So many details I don't remember. Are you winning, son? No. No, I'm getting my ass kicked. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Trey. I'll be able to play them all on PC. I just gotta wait for that. That's it. And yeah, by the time I finish the 18 million other Yakuza games, I'm sure those will be available too. Plenty of the old Rainbow Six games. Yeah, those are the ones I actually played the most. The ones, yeah, where there was like, you had to plan out the, uh, or give, give, like, go and stop orders to all your strike teams. Plan in the, like, uh, architectural view, the wireframe view of a building. That was fun stuff. Virus with shoes. Thanks for the sub. Uh, oh, FPS is shockingly low. Well, that's, I'm also exporting a video in the background, so there's that. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Try not to die. Now is when it starts doing the, like, ass load of AoEs. Or no, wait. I don't understand this. What does this mean when there's, like, a spire in the middle of an AoE like that? Does that mean that, like, the damage is shared? Yeah, and then you gotta dodge around all these, like, lasers and shit. Yeah. Ah, shit. I'm not gonna make it. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck. Yeah, you gotta take something there.
Death Dealer XX. I'll keep you alive, Death Dealer. Ow. Why did that hurt so much? Yeah, hey. Everybody's twirling. Does mean you have to stand in there to like sh split the damage? So one of those. Went pretty smoothly. I didn't die. I got my sick Final Fantasy 15 car. Look at this pimp. Also, he has to stand on the seat because he's too tiny. <laughs> Oh, is this the one-on-one -on -one up here? Oh, no, wait, it's a new one. Oh, solo, okay, yeah. Nice, I'll watch this. It actually flies like it does in 15, you're just not allowed to fly in this zone, so... He, uh... There he is. I think somebody's already setting off fireworks. Now all you need is that over-the-top anime girl to fix your vehicle? You mean Cindy? I do indeed. You're correct. That's exactly what I need. There's a there's a fun there's a fun amount of uh, silly uh, self-aware cuteness about Final Fantasy XIV. Also, yeah, I need to I need to go on a mount hunt one of these days. Just pick up a bunch of wacky ass mounts. Every time I was oh look at this, people are cheering. Every time I play this game, I see, like, crazy new shit. Person got their anime glow sticks out. Everybody cheering. Oh, somebody's in a little Santa suit! That's a person. <laughs> that's a person who's now a snowman. I guess that's a, probably an item you can use. Ah! Oh, Jesus! Alright. You're kind of ruining the view, but... <laughs> Oh, the snowman is a mount? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm not playing Cyberpunk for once. Today. I'll be back on it very soon. Man, I love that game. Oh, it's part of a Christmas quest that's super easy in Gridania? Okay. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to swing by there. They lift the head of the snowman as they start running. Oh, okay. I thought it was like... I have a... I have an Easter mount. It's just like a giant Easter egg, and then when you hit a mount button, a little a little ch baby chocobo pops out of it. So I thought it might have been an animation like that. Oh shit, here they go. What's up, Jay Pandras? Hope you're doing well and Happy New Year. Well, the same to you, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, the event's over? Uh, okay. Does, 
does like seasonal stuff uh, ever come back? Can you get it like the next time there's an event? Or does it just all go to like the paid store if you don't earn it in game? I want to get I want to get all these silly mounts. I must have them. But I'm coming in late to the game. I'll probably go to the paid store. Okay. All right, well, just got to crack. Just got to dig out mom's credit card. Oh wow, those AoEs never go away. Interesting. There's mechanics like that that are really neat, but also, if you just don't know that they're there, you will not realistically ever beat the boss the first or second time. Hey, Blanche Fleer. End of your stream? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's end 2020 doing the one thing that made this year tolerable, and that's gaming. Or anime. Or drinking. All three, basically. Alright, so this this AoE right here. What's the deal with this? What does that mean? The like obelisk in the middle of a of a circle. Running Savage Dungeons Blind? I would never someone has to stand in it? Okay. So if no one stands in it, uh stand in tower so that a big damage doesn't happen. Okay. So you basically just have to soak it. Um, at least one person. Otherwise it's raid-wide AoE. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. This is kind of neat. You can observe a boss fight before doing it yourself or trying it yourself. Gonna cry in the shower with vodka soda water because that describes 2020 to me. Twist of lime or no? I think I'll, I'll get back on my uh, my metal grind. Oh, look at that! There's one right here. I had mount music turned off for the longest time because I got really tired of the Chocobo fanfare, but I guess it's been enough time now that I can use it again. What's your favorite mount? The dragon? I don't I actually don't remember what that is or where I got it. Damn it! Oh no, oh no. Oh shit. Why do I do that? Why do I just jump in there with a huge AoE? Help! Okay. God damn it. Oh, it's at the end of Heavensward? Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's certainly a very Heavensward looking looking mount. I don't want to do this alone. This is stupid. All these guys are going to kill me. Oh, wait. Here comes everybody. All right. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, finish this up for me, please. Oh, wait, what? Did MF Doom pass? Is this what I'm? Is this what I'm? Are these are these F's in chat that I'm seeing? Are we past this October? Oh my god! Why am I so behind? Yes, I knew that. Uh, I don't know. My brain is just like one big chunk of scar tissue right now. I feel like it was announced today. Oh, okay. Okay, I thought it, I thought it was known for some reason, and I just didn't didn't register it. Damn, man! It reminds me of a Russian meme when you think you cannot go on, but somehow you do. Dogza the Shrewd. Let's see here. I think I'll get to Resistance rank 9. And then I'll take a break and uh, do, do some uh, duty roulettes instead. 
Mix it up a little bit. Get some different music. Although I guess Fat Chocobo music's pretty good. I want to eat those greens so bad. Oh, Yukiyuru, yeah. I've been playing 14 since uh, Realm Reborn hit. Off and on. I'll go through spurts of activity. Hey, what's up? Dorcas Fan Club? I, I empathize with, with that sentiment fully, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully everyone's 2021. Got a little more to offer than 2020 did. Oh, oops. Yeah, it's been it's been a long time since I played a really beefy JRPG. I like Shadowbringers, you know, given that I'm playing 14 right now. Persona 5. I'm playing through Crosscode right now. I'm really enjoying the, the just the dickens out of Crosscode, and it's on uh, Game Pass, so check it out. It's it's crazy because I just replayed Secret of Mana, which is fun. Got great music and, and great art, but man, if Crosscode is just like everything that game is and a million times more, it's fantastic. You're playing the Xenoblade games, yes, but I haven't finished any of them. Those are, those are fantastic JRPGs, but man, are they long. Doing a Xeno series would be fun. I don't think Xeno Gears ends up having really much of anything to do with Xeno Blade. Aside from just being from the same creators, I think. Hey, Pipes, thanks for the sub, man. Whole year, huh? Yeah, it's been a, it's been a whole year of being an independent content creator. That's been great. Man, it's been so great. That's amazing what a little, a little like, distance and a new outlook on work due to your general mental well-being. One and two are connected and taking place at the same time, apparently. Really? Xenoblade 1 and 2? I mean, that doesn't make s sense. Because Xenoblade 1 is, like, on the two robots. And I thought Xenoblade 2 was in, like, a completely different universe, but I guess I could just be totally wrong about that. And they also have different, different, like, they just feel like different games. It gets explained to, oh, okay, all right. I guess Xenoblade 2 just has tits, just crazy tits. Massive titties. And Xenoblade 1 does not. Xenoblade Chronicles X also not, or Xenoblade Chronicles, I should say. Xenoblade Chron, yeah. And then Chronicles X also not a titty game, for some reason. 2's just got those fucking giant, Giant melons. Oh, Xenoblade 2 is a way more, let's try and sell way more copies type of game. Is that really what it is? Like, it's just straight up they crammed fan service into Xenoblade? One had mad titties if you have the right outfits. Oh, that's good to know. Consider me interested. Yeah, let's see. I mean, uh, Tokyo Mirage, Xenoblade Chronicles, both on Switch. I guess Chronicles X is not. So... I'd have to dig the Wii U out of the closet for that one, and uh, I'm not sure I want to do that. I don't know where the crowd went. When they tried to be more serious with X, it failed. Oh, that kind of makes sense then. Yeah. They swung back to, uh, to being pandery. It's interesting, as much as, like... As much as I think anime kind of gets people rolling their eyes at it because of the pandery bullshit. Um, uh, that is the, like... It seems so so obvious more than in any other medium that that's kind of necessary sometimes. God, enemies follow you for so long here. To be fair, X was on the Wii U. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, not not a whole lot of smash hits on the Wii U. Not a whole lot of software flying off shelves. Happy New Year, Red. Hopefully you're having a, a great night. Morning, day so far. Love to stream Tokyo Mirage Session. Sadly, the Switch version is the censored thing. Makes the whole dungeon kind of not hit with the theme of it. Oh, how how censored are we talking? Because I have it on Wii U. It would just be more convenient to play it on Switch, but... I mean, that would save me from buying the game again.
they if they remove titties from my video game, I'm not having it. I wanted you to have that full Final Fantasy XI experience. Ah, shit, I'm late. Ah. So this this whole thing is supposed to feel more like Final Fantasy XI, right? Certain costumes have no titty windows. I don't know that I I don't know that I like that. I don't know that I like that. This 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 little guy being pretty easy. Is Final Fantasy XIV viable on console? Yes, it is. Shockingly, it is. They did a ton of good, a ton of really amazing work, uh, trying to get the uh, the MMO experience to work on a uh, on a controller. I think I think it works, um, especially on like PlayStation f on PS4. They like there's a lot of things you can use the. Um, touchpad for it's basically like a soft mouse and it works super super well i was really impressed with how playable it was for a game that's like the, actually this like gameplay intense this, this is a pretty gamer game pretty gamer game yep the whole eureka plus this was their tribute to final fantasy 11 okay what is what is eureka somebody else was mentioning that there's a Gravure idol themed dungeon that's pretty heavily censored. There are just some costume shit, but I don't care about that personally. Okay. I would prefer more titties, though. Hmm. Eureka's Stormblood Bosjek. Gotcha. It's trash, never go there. Okay. Okay, I didn't do the relic stuff for Stormblood. I wasn't super. I wasn't. I wasn't like high level play in Stormblood. Not an onion you're fighting? Yes. A little, little angry onion man. Okay, maybe if like. Maybe if I put the focus target right in the middle here, I'll look at it more. Okay, it's very easy to see cast... <laughs> it's very easy to see cast timers this way. I still can't see... Can't see it in the middle of all those sparkles. Oh yeah, this one's not so bad. Classic, like, switching buffs kind of thing. Yeah, I know, you can turn down sparkles from people not in your party. Uh, it looks pretty, though. That does look like, oh, I guess, what you would expect a anime magic sparkle off to look like. Shit. Oh. Where are you? Damn it! Yep. No, no, no. Oh. 
Happy New Year's Eve, Dadnade. It's good to see you. Hope you're having a good time. Oh, Dylan Crane, thanks for the sub. Ah. Delightful. Delightful. Look at all of this metal I am acquiring. Also tombstones. That's good. That's good. Oh yeah. Stick around for the... Field repair. Oh, looks like they got everybody. Oh. What happens if you reg like register for something but they don't it doesn't fill up? <laughs> what if you register for something and only there's only like three people? I guess you just don't hit uh you just don't hit uh commence. Oh. The fight scales down. Oh, okay, so you can you can queue for a fight even if it doesn't fill up. Okay. Oh shit, I haven't done this one. Ah, crap. Uh but Raitlin, you were in there, flying on your bed. Yeah, when you use the Magitek armor from like Final Fantasy VI, it plays Terra's theme. There's a there's this game really is just like a big Super Smash Brothers celebration of Final Fantasy games. What level do you acquire flying mounts? Uh, I'm not sure what that is now. Lasers and stuff incoming? Okay. Yeah, this is the Salad Fingers bot, huh? Oh, shit. Yay! Oh, it's 50? Okay. I like this for the, uh, the party placement. I kind of wish I could flip it and make it so, like, all of these status icons were on the left and then put it here. But I guess it doesn't make that much of a difference whether it's on the left or right. These are not centered. Tragedy of tragedies. Okay. Okay. <laughs> an interesting HUD layout. Yeah, I'm experimenting. I'm trying to move everything closer to the middle of the screen so I actually look at it. As opposed to, I don't know, I'd find myself just not looking at the uh, the party list that often. I'd really only have my eyes on the tank because they were targeted. So hopefully this helps me keep an eye on things a little better. Who knows, man? Who knows? Maybe it won't. All right, here come lasers, I guess. Pick Bartizan? What is it? Uh, so he like powers laser banks? Light on it now? Oh. Oh shit. How do you know which one's gonna fire? Oh, the lights tell you? When it hits two, it fires, I guess? Firing orders.
Okay. Okay, I got it. He like either puts one or two stacks in them and when they hit two they shoot. Setting them off on purpose. Shit. Yeah. Uh, got an ass load of metal and a thing. Oh, there's that bed. What fight is this? Is there some random Magitek in the Bosch in front? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, man. This is all new to me. Murder, death, kill. It's got some time left on it. Let's go! Doesn't seem like anyone wants to go there. Oh, some people are. Yeah, look at all these look at all these fine people. Okay, I'm almost to rank nine. Damn right, Mitch. We all need a little more anime times in our lives, especially lately. What rank can he use the actions at? Is he using them? Actions? Might need to be a little more specific. Gold teddy bear riding a mechanical. What is what is that? Like a little shrimp. Oh, they're Bajo only buffs and spells. I see what you mean. Yeah, the um, what are they called? Uh, holster, lost finds. I am not using those. I should though. Here, allow me to. There. Oh, oops. Oh my god, target the big thing, please. Here we go. Oh, okay, we're done. Hey, hey! What are the clusters for? You trade those somewhere, right? Ooh! That's the first one of those I got. Only 19 more. God damn. Ugh. This takes so long. Uh, that's fine. What? What's the? At what level? At what level do the? Um, are you done with all the quests? Oh, you can buy a mount for some clusters. Okay. Well, then I gotta do it. Yeah, you need to do the fates in heaven's word. Yeah. I'll look up the list once I get it done there. I just don't know what resistance rank considers this complete. Oh shit. Fifteen? Oh shit. Fuck. Uh for cap okay oh 10 for every quest okay that's the only thing I cared about that's not so bad I want to see that sweet sweet content
God damn it. Some of the buffs you can get in your holster, like almost double damage or heals, give you armor like a tank class. I don't think I have any of those yet. I can see where that would be useful, especially for the one on ones. Ugh. Of course, it runs away. Asshole. Hey, what's up, Clippy? Gonna make a news resolution to watch more VTubers? Sounds like something that nourishes both mind and soul. And I wish you luck in your venture. I should really only ever use the double or the damage boosting ones because the area is just about dealing more damage. Some mobs just won't be tanking unless you're tank. Yeah. Seems like the goal is to just kill everything. Ultimate Gilly, thanks for the sub. Been a minute since I stopped by, but I've got a busy day. Real holidays were good. Hope you have a happy new year. I have had a good holiday. And I think I'll have a great New Year's, because I'm just gonna basically do this. I'm gonna take a break to call some friends later. But uh yeah, I'm just sitting here grinding out some anime trash. Listening to some epic music while I hit one button over and over again. Life is good, huh? Oh, Focant. Thank you for the sub as well. Dylan Crane, thanks for the sub. I know I do a lot of duplicates, but I don't care. It's a good thing to be thankful for. Great Canadian maple syrup heist. Streaming tonight too? I think so. Probably. I don't know. That may change, but I feel like it right now, so. I got a Four loco chilling in the fridge. That's some big streamer fuel. I think I'm going to put down all those calories and not play video games? Absurd. Once this guy goes down, I think I can move on. This music is really good, so I'm going to turn off Mount Music. Port Loco's Headache Fuel, yeah. We'll see. Dang it. Oh, that was the battle theme, alright. But yeah, it's a tiny little hand, just holding me, and I'm just kind of drooping there. Just kind of dangling. Yunoni, happy new year to you too. Oh. <laughs> Giant robot man stomping on people. We've all been there. Shockingly little damage. watching a lot of inside gaming videos from about a year ago and there were some stories about Randy Pitchford leaving a USB flash drive in a medieval times restaurant. Yeah, that was the whole thing. That was a thing. Who among us hasn't been in that exact position though? 
leaving your porn stash at a medieval times. Oh. Cool. To beat up a robot again. Hey, Spooky. It's always fun to stream a little 14 because people that love this game come out of the woodwork to express it. It's nice. Oh, thank you for the prime, too. There were magic tricks? Yeah. It's uh, it's the art of misdirection. That's what the humble squirt is, in fact. It's a magic trick. What? There's a mountain where you can just stand on a robo-man? Or sit on a robo-man? Who carries you around? That's very cute. Look at him go! It's ready for action. Some people have the near automata robots. Oh, that's awesome. This game is so nerdy. Oh, that's what the clusters are for? Ooh! Beautiful. Does it cost like 200 clusters or something? What's a Final Fantasy Zero mount not near? Oh, never mind. Typo? One of those? God, 180 or 120? It's over 10, so... Oops. God damn it. There. Hope you're good with prime numbers. I'm alright. Three white mages. Heard of Code Miko yet? No. What is this? Time for math. Just a whole grip of anime losers. Yep, give me them head pats. Time to fight robot. But it's running over here. I don't know what that means. What are you doing? Ooh, big laser. Oh. Ah, shit. Ah! Oh god, okay. Oh shit, shit, shit. So wait, do I just have to... Oh. Excellent. What? 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 Why did I move? Huh? You have a number buff? Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay. Got it. Okay, where's my buff? I don't see a buff. I don't... Okay. I'm 
protocols. Since you're dead, you're now exempt. Oh, okay. All right. Already got him. Is there anyone else on the floor? Anyone else I can help out? Oh, there's one. Get out of the way. Get out. Uh. Shit. God damn it. Ay. Fuck. <sighs> hey, what's up, Innovate? Fight money. Fuck, what are you doing? Okay. Jesus. <sighs> Fuck. This takes a while. I think you hate this year. It's almost out. We're almost done. And you can hate next year. <laughs> Worth a shitload of metal, though. I'm into that. Oh, how'd somebody die way out there? Whew. That was awesome. Savage and Ultimate Raider win. Uh, uh, I would like to. Where's that betting? <laughs> Just laid down on it. Uh, that stuff is really fun to do. Uh, doing really hard fights like that. Oh shit! I have enough to rank up. Might as well do this first. What could go wrong? Oh, never mind. It's over. Yay! Oh yeah, here's the egg. D 
Damn it. There we go. Next, pa next patch, drop everything and become a blue mage streamer. Everyone likes watching the blue mages, huh? Uh, aren't they taking that out? Isn't blue mage like the running gag? They tried to get it to work for so long and just couldn't. No one likes blue mage? Yeah. Yeah. I never really liked blue mage as an ability, even in traditional Final Fantasy games. Gotta have that enemy skill materia sitting there the whole time, just in case. Alright, I did it. 78,000. Ugh. The next rank up. But that's it. That's all. Blue Mage is being raised to level 70 item or level 70 cap next patch. Some more content to try in 8 mage. What is 8 mage? Okay, so the blue the blue mage cap is just getting raised. Gotcha. Apothecary to be a job for no healer. Apothecary was kind of busted in tactics, right? I remember Apothecary's being really overpowered. Like it was Apothecary and then Time Mage. Maybe I'm making that up. Uh, but I remember like using Apothecary's quite a bit. Maybe it's because I was just really bad at tactics, so I took a ton of damage. I had to have basically Apo Apothecary's whip and potions at everyone all the time. It was a Pop Tart. Hopefully you're doing well as well. Can't do most content as a blue mage with other players, but they have a party finder to make groups of pure blue mage mimicking other roles. There's a marble mount for clearing a bunch of old raids as eight blue mages. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, that's so dorky. I love it. Ugh, okay. I think I'm going to... Wait, hold on. Let me warp out there. I gotta do this story quest. And after I do that, uh, I'm gonna do some roulettes for a bit, just some random dungeons. Get some, uh, get some tome stones. Maybe I can stack enough revelation to. Oh no, I can't. <laughs> I'm capped. I'm capped at the week. But it'd be nice to buy stuff. I feel like the most, as usual, the most expensive pieces of gear are the ones that I, uh, are the ones that are lowest item level. So my yeah, my chest armor is 40, 445, and my pants are 450. Ugh, boots aren't doing too well either. Basically, nothing I have is uh, is appropriate item level. <laughs> All my accessories are okay, but... Eden, though? Ooh, I could do Eden. Convert your tomes. Do you do that in Yulmore? Where do you do that? And I haven't done the new Eden stuff. Do you get item drops in Eden? Because I can do that. I mean, those are savage, though, and I feel like I should look up... Um, I should look up that stuff first. I can do that. It is in Yulmore? Okay. Uh, okay, uh, they aren't savage. Oh! Eden normals, you can get drops. Oh! Okay, I'll do Eden normal then. Uh, you can face roll. Easy. Alright, I'll be back in a second. See you guys in just- See you guys in just a moment! I return. And, um, irony of ironies, I sat down right as the timer went off. And it booted me out, so, hmm. I'm gonna go back in just to do that quest. Going back in, just to do the quest, and then... Time for some roulettes, and then I get some Eden stuff. Maybe I can get some good item drops. So here's the here's the beer that I'm drinking right now. Got another one of these because I still have them in my fridge. Thank you, Voodoo Ranger, for sending this to me for free. It's delicious. What's oh, potatoes? Hair looks immaculate. Is that the G Fuel? It is. Sprinkle a little G Fuel on my hair in the morning. My hair's ready to game. I gotta, I gotta get a haircut, man. If you ever need to FK in there, you can do a HUD layout and it won't time you out. Oh, interesting. 
Uh, it's not a big deal. Like, I, I'm already back in, but that is a good tip. Thank you. What beer? Um, the Voodoo Ranger 1985 IPA. Doing the requisite product placement because they sent it to me for free. Thank you, Voodoo Ranger, for the free beer. Free beer, anime. Great people to talk to. Online technology. Man. Not not a bad thing in the world right now. Uh, Twisted Irish says, I'll be heading off to work. I'll be lurking on my phone still. Hope you have a great stream and happy new year. If you get the chance, add me on fellowship. Oh, okay. I think you were asking about that earlier. Oh, I can't do it in here. Okay, let me... Let me take down your name. Zoop. Alright, thank you. I will add you. Oh no! Oh no! I'm under attack. What's gonna happen to weird little old me? I'm just a tiny little white mage. It's a shame if something bad happened. All I want to do is heal the world. Yeah, this this is a mashed potato. An anime mashed potato. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm only one disc away from finishing Dragon Ball Z Kai. That might be my greatest 2020 accomplishment is finally finishing Dragon Ball Z. And it's even the fast version of it, too. Although now I can watch Abridged and watch Super. So, finally. Finally, I'll be caught up. I'll be a real anime boy. Maybe I'll watch Evangelion after that. I have seen it before, but I haven't seen the remakes. I haven't seen the movies. Do I need to watch Kai to watch Super? That's a good question. I'd be curious about the answer to that question too. I haven't... I would say no, but I do need to watch the Eva movies for sure. What's up, P-Porp? You don't need Kai for Super? I wouldn't think so. Continuity is not something that Dragon Ball really sweats that hard. It's not really about that. I don't know what it's about. It's about screaming and being strong and I don't know, weird hyper goofy asides. Oh, I watch Evangelion when at this rate we'll be living it next year. That way at least I can uh, research it. I know what's happening. You didn't know what to predict. Just having a chilled New Year's Eve in. I presume you're doing the same. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm spending it with my long lost friend, Anime. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not it's not Final Fantasy unless there's crystals. Hooey. There's some crystals in this game. All kinds of crystals. Magic crystals, spirit crystals, powerful crystals, evil crystals. Ooh. <gasps> Betrayal. Shakus. Playing Final Fantasy 3 right now. I love how broken monks are towards the end of the game. Yeah, they just get like 20 hits and everything dies. Behold the advent of the job system. Oops. Oh, now that unsightly text box is there. <laughs> yeah, I'm abandoning you. Hope you're cool with that. Oh, smoke bomb. Is this the current MSQ? No. This is this is some pretty 
I don't know, would this be considered deep side content? Or is this side side content? Final Fantasy XIV likes to have these like weird side gameplay systems that are their en entirely, entirely their own leveling curves. Um, maybe it's a bit strong to say the game likes to do that, but it's certainly done it more than once, and this is one of them. Uh, so this is like a whole region that kind of... The, the rule set here kind of plays out like Final Fantasy XI, which is another thing XIV likes to do. It's kind of try to bend its rule set to emulate other games. But yeah, this relates to Relic Weapons, which is like an entire an entire leveling grind associated with getting very minuscule advances in uh, weapon power. But that's what I'm into it for. At least they do sprinkle a little anime storyline. Uh, I find a little spoonful of anime always helps the, uh, the grind go down. That's kind of the... That's just the bread and butter of JRPGs, really. The Relic Weapons look sick as fuck. Yeah, I... I, uh, I think I accidentally saw a screenshot of it, but I'm looking forward to it. Gotta do those Savage Raids, baby! Um, like, no joke, I, uh, I do like doing difficult content, and part of that is prep, and this is kind of what that is, and I also just like playing Final Fantasy XIV, but, but, like, to, to me, like, the big difficult things I want to do, I didn't know how hard Cyberpunk was going to be, I didn't know if it was going to be, it's not that hard, uh, which is fine, didn't need to be, but it was going to be brutally difficult, and I wanted that to be, like, the next hard game. But right now, I think maybe Savage content in 14, and then, yeah, doing uh, the Doom DLC, Ultra Nightmare. And then also finishing God of War on Give Me God of War. Doing all the Valkyries and stuff like that. Those are like the big self-challenge things. Maybe finishing Spelunky 2. I don't know what finishing means, though. Getting, getting credits. <laughs> Oh, if somebody brought up doing an Inferno run of Resident Evil 3, that could be fun. I feel like... I feel like when Resident Evil gets hard, the game then becomes like figuring out how to just run around zombies. Like how to, how to not waste any resources on zombies. So I don't know, I guess with the parry system or the dodge system in 3, that could be really interesting. If it basically forces you to, to learn that timing or get good at it. See the new Silk Song info drop? No! Flave, no. What's the deal with that? Is that happening? Is it still happening? Is there a date? Is there a window? Is there a screenshot? Such pens- like- ooh, Just like brooding emotion music. Very Final Fantasy VI feeling. With some of that stuff. I stripped a whole magazine on it, no release, but there's gameplay. That's kind of cool. You're officially in a different decade than me? Uh... Well, I'll let you know how the 2010s wraps up. Hey, what's up, Echelon Dog? It's 2021. Hey, congratulations! Happy New Year! Albelio. Yeah, sure. There's one thing I do love about this game, and this is something that can also read as a negative depending on where where you're at, but it straight up is just good music and then thumbing through text while uh, while puppets play a pantomime out of story in front of your eyes. It is the most classic GRPG sensibility, and it's still here. Err, you mad. Sometimes there's VO, yeah. Sometimes, most of the time, actually, the the breadth of VO has been expanding. But this is, yeah, pretty side content. So, the voice work is great. Should I bring? I said less VO due to Corona. They said so themselves. Really? Okay. Well, it seems to me like it's only just been increasing, which is nice. But I get that that's just kind of like costs more and takes more time. Oh, 
Oh, they wanted more VO? Yeah, just couldn't do it. Hello, Hammy Dan. There's some talk happening. Tonight I'm going to start my first ever Yakuza game, Like a Dragon. Hey, nice beautiful ghost. I actually think Like a Dragon is a really good introduction to the to the franchise and the style of humor of those games. Uh, it means that like even if you're not good at beat 'em ups, you can still still play through it. I think that's always been the appeal of JRPGs. Really, it provides a, a longer term, more like potentially more nuanced because you know t tends to lean on the writing a little bit more. Do you think Sky, uh, Cyberpunk is more or less buggy than Skyrim when it was released? Uh, tough question, and it depends what platform you're talking about. Um, I I played Skyrim on PC at launch both times, and Skyrim feels more buggy on PC to me. At least it did then. Um, I played it after a few patches, and it didn't like it was still kind of the same experience. To me, um, I, it makes it tough because, like, the things that Cyberpunk asks you to focus on or the, the things that it provides are good despite those bugs. Like, the story and the writing in Cyberpunk is really good, and I, I think the way that it does environment design and how that intersects with your player build, your character build, also really good. I think those things work. I think those things worked a lot better than any of those things did in Skyrim. So it's weird. Uh, to me, it feels like the things that work about Cyberpunk aren't inhibited by the bugs. Whereas with Skyrim, I don't really know what the experience was supposed to be uh, if... Because the bugs kept getting in the way of it. If I was just supposed to dick around in the open world, which is fine, the bugginess kind of prevented that from happening and like the shallowness of the interactions with the world. The things that people say about Cyberpunk, really. Uh, but for me, like, like NPC dialogue wasn't interesting. None of the stories were interesting. There was just nothing interesting about the actual quests. Like, they weren't fun to do. They were pretty generic in terms of quest design. It's like, steal this thing, get this item, kill this person. Um, so, I don't know. I just... I guess, I guess a lot of the things people say about Cyberpunk now is how I felt about Skyrim. Um, like, I just didn't really get the game that people saw there... So it, it's tough for me to compare the bugs or the level of bugginess because I don't, I don't, I think it, it could roughly be the same level of bugginess, but it doesn't matter as much with Cyberpunk to me because the content that's there is, is so enjoyable. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how it feels. Like I can't tell if that's just my enjoyment of the game kind of overpowering my memory, but according to my memory, it feels like, it feels like Skyrim was buggier on PC. I haven't played it on PS4. Also, like, Cyberpunk, to me, to me, Skyrim also ran pretty poorly on PC, but didn't look good enough to justify it. That was another weird thing. Of, like, you talk about engine performance and bugs. Like, to me, they're both, they both ran a little chunky when they came out, but Skyrim looked like an old game the day it hit. Whereas, Cyberpunk looks like a game that would come out four years from now, right now. Um, so, to me, the, like, the performance is justified because Cyberpunk actually looks so much better than other games do now, whereas Skyrim kind of looked worse than its contemporaries. Uh, it was a little disappointing, honestly. I was looking forward to that game to be a technical showcase, and it just wasn't. But people weren't mad at that one, so whatever, you know. People liked Skyrim. I played Skyrim way after launch, years, and it still has bugs, despite I don't play online and I play on console. Bugs I've seen were hilarious, like a mammoth walking in the air until it disappeared into space. I'll say that. Skyrim's bugs largely do fall into the same category of, like, cyberpunk bugs, where 
It doesn't prevent you from playing. It's just something wacky happens and you just have to laugh at it. Well, we got our little story there, I guess. <laughs> Behind the scenes look into what the villains are doing. Alright, so I gotta get like... 20,000 more metal? 23,000? If I get two per, I have to do like 10 boss fights. That seems approachable. Oh wait, there's a new quest. Hello. Oh! That's right, I have to save the lady who was kidnapped. We're all tracking this storyline, right? We're all paying attention? We're all... Listen, we're all gonna film a podcast after this. Discussing the storyline. And I want you all to have a good opinion. Scaring at least nine years ago when it's still the same amount of shitty bugs. Cyberpunk in nine, nine years will at least be completely different. Because there are devs that work on fixing things. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's... Everybody, like... I, I get it. Like, everybody kind of wants to talk about the situation and finality. To, like, we need judgment. And, and I think that's... It's not fitting right now. I think I think it's like an if then sort of situation. I think I think uh, I think everybody's right to sort of to call like context into account and past history into account. And be like, look, this is probably not going to be the same, and there are reasons to believe it's or there are, there are ways it's not the same already. So I don't know. I, I honestly I think at the core of it, when you ask for comparisons like that. To me, maybe I'm assuming too much, but to me, the core of the question is why are people reacting this way now when they didn't back then? That's the more interesting question. But when you when you like ask that, then you start talking about like what people are thinking and feeling. I think, and then it gets it gets a little messy. You can't really put thoughts in people's brains like that. It gets hard to talk about. But I think that is sort of the core of it. Is uh, maybe maybe I'm putting I'm doing maybe I'm putting words in people's mouths myself. Hey, what's up, XYZ? I read a plot synopsis of 14 just now and still don't know what's happening. Yeah, there's, uh... God, there's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> like, each expansion is pretty, is pretty like, lower and plot dense unto themselves, if they were individual games. And then those are also wrapped into this larger storyline that crosses multiple expansions. There's over a decade of JRPG plot in here now. I had an absolute blast in Cyberpunk 2077 and a blast in Skyrim. That's an awesome Shandy Warrior. Uh, you know what that means? That means you had two blasts. You had two video game blasts. And that rules. I, uh... I don't know. I always, I always felt a little like Charlie Brown when it came to, like, Skyrim. I don't know why I said that, but... For me, I just, like... I, I tried to play Skyrim so many times and just couldn't find... Couldn't find it couldn't find the thing that everybody was talking about um, and I wanted to you know I wanted to nerd out with people about Skyrim what a weird sensation when you like you spend a lot of your life feeling like you can't connect to people about the things you like and then the moment comes along when somebody is on the other side of it or rather you're on the other side of it and you're like I it's like suddenly everyone else is on the inside partying and you're on the outside being alone again in a, in a different way um What's the plan? Streaming through to midnight? Just about. Uh, I th I'm i gonna take a break at a certain point to jump to like jump on a call with some old friends. Um, have a drink or two. Whoop. There might be some whooping. And then um, I'll probably be back on stream to play some Beat Mania later tonight. Might check in on my Animal Crossing village. Pull all the weeds. Animal Crossing is a JRPG basically, right? Yeah. However, I just couldn't get into Bloodborne. Dropped it after a good 15 hours. Hey, you put in you put in the time. It's interesting how that goes sometimes, right? Ah, it's a shame. But create strange dynamics.
Oh yeah, Cyberpunk sold a shit ton. Yeah, Flav. The data, the numbers, suggest that Cyberpunk is nothing but a world-class launch. Like, biggest new IP video game launch ever? I'm pretty sure. Unless you, well, new, new video game IP. Can basically make that claim because there aren't any, like, launch window sales for the bigger games. I don't know, I did a little tweet about it, but... Uh, and that's, that's, that's like post-launch. That's post-everything. That's not just pre-orders. Cyberpunk is still in the top revenue slot on Steam. Still. 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 And that's by week. So this is, this is well on from everyone that would know about whatever, knowing about it, not caring. So yeah, all the, all this drama stuff is, is pretty well in a bubble. What service do I play on? A uh, Leviathan. Will I sign your toddler? Uh, if you can find a way to ship that baby onto me, and like a, maybe a pre-addressed, uh, poster tube back, or something like that. Um, yeah, sure. I'll drop, I'll drop a name on that baby. Cyberpunk is Deus Ex and Fallout's love child mixed with the movie Heat. Like the, the hustler angle. Yeah, I could see that. It is, it is, it is Fallout with all the bits from Fallout added back in. Which is delightful. Man, I love that game. Console players were mad about getting a refund and not being able to play the game anymore. Yeah, they thought it would just be a free game. That's the other thing about the refund that, like... It's so utterly immaterial. Like, no matter what happens with the refund... Like, it was the right thing to do, right? Like, there's no, there's no downside there. If CD Projekt doesn't fix the game, and it's shitty forever, and it was a lie, then the people got their money back, and hopefully everything's great. Like, they're, you're out the disappointment, that sucks. But if they do fix it, down the line, and uh, people buy the game, then they still have, CDPR still has their one sale. Uh, and then they made good on their word, and then somebody has a good video game. So it's like, there's really no, there's really no down, like, there's no way to get screwed in this situation. Um, uh, sorry to repeat, the game just launched. It's prone to have bugs. It will take time to fix. Most games that launch have issues that get fixed after release because developers can see what problems weren't fixed during the making. It's crazy people seem to not want to acknowledge that it's not just CDPR to be the first with issues. Yeah, it's... it's People just want it, People just love a certain narrative. And they'll find it... They'll create the narrative when enough circumstantial things meet the narrative. So the narrative of a big game that everyone looking forward to coming out and being absolutely hideously busted, horrifically, just like utter nailed it trash. Like that, that's the better narrative than the reality, um, which is still pretty spicy, like spicy enough, spicy enough to get people's motors running. It's kind of, kind of what it is. So it's, it's a really interesting dynamic. Yeah. You give people, give people an ounce of motivation and then they, they create a, a whole thing. So yeah, it's it's an interesting human behavior uh, to see happen. This is the internet, though. This is it. Nine five for the story and overall characters with technical bugs and stuff. Games dropped to a six five. Dang, I wouldn't give it that much of a technical ding, but I'm also playing on a very privileged platform, so I can't question that. I can, I can definitely I know what it's like to play a game where you can see you can see the potential but you just can't feel it because the frame rates are are garbage and oh you played on pc man you must have had a rough time it it runs real solid for me but again i have to acknowledge i've been very lucky there also i i am privileged to have the money to throw it at, at upgrades and things like that oh see okay i'll, I'll do my playtime when i get out of this cutscene. it's a lot it's a lot I also don't play this game efficiently. I've learned I don't play a lot of games efficiently, which is starting to concern me. If, uh, now that I've, I've really brought a lot of things in my life into laser focus, which is to say I've found a way to spend my entire day playing video games, now the goal is to efficient, like, to, to make that process as efficient as possible. I got a stack of years left on this planet, and only so many developers to humble. I have to lay them low, slay their video game, leave it at my feet, broken. 
Um, and uh, playing video games inefficiently may get in the way of that. You played Doom efficiently, right? I didn't, though. I do now, but it took me way too long to kind of figure out how to play at the proper level. Technical bugs that affect gameplay get pretty fucking annoying at times in what is otherwise a great game. I guess, I guess what makes me... What makes me happy about the state of things is that the technical can be solved so much faster at this point than the creative. And the creative is so good with that game. It's so good. It's, it's powerful and it's there and it works. Um, so if, the if, like, if fixing the technical... If it takes another three to six months to get that game to a playable state where people can actually see what's in it and appreciate it, that's doable. That's way more doable than uh, making a game run better that, or like having a good running game with some pretty like flawed and empty writing or game content, which I don't think is is the case. So, it's uh yeah, I feel pretty good about it. Not that I have a right to feel anything about anything. I just, I want more people to like good games. Because uh, I want I want good games, or better games to get made. And I feel like Cyberpunk is genuinely trying to do good things in the medium. Progressive things. Uh, when it comes to storytelling and interactive, interactive narrative experiences. Uh, pretty significant things, too. Look, so, I'm chewed up. I, I just bad, hope it's. And I think my it would be a shame, broken. I think, if. Uh, so you better go on without me. If consensus buried it as a, still can. a flawed masterpiece instead of actually diving in and experiencing what it has to offer, celebrating it, and then potentially encouraging derivative works. Um, I also really like story driven single player games. Mechanically dense, story driven single player games. That's exactly my shit. So I'm kind of a cheerleader for that genre in general. Currently watching your Cyberpunk playthrough on YouTube and convincing you to buy it tomorrow? Whoa. I should disclose, I live with somebody that works at that company. So if you buy that game, I stand to materially benefit directly. Uh, so I also have that reason to be utterly biased towards it as well. What's your opinion on David Cage's games? A bit complicated. I actually really like Detroit uh, because it didn't pretend to be something other than it was. Um, I have an issue with... Uh, narrative games that try to pretend the interactivity is more than it is so you know your your mass effects or whatever uh games that that sell you on the illusion of of story variability and you could argue cyberpunk does that but you know i have it's more nuanced than just saying like does it change or not um david cage's games typically try to be very subtle about where that line was and i thought that was to their detriment um, I prefer massively the Detroit method of doing things. Uh, like the choices in 14? Yeah. Now that's that's the epitome of narrative design. Um, I thought Detroit was good. Like it would just admit, it just fessed up to being a choose your own adventure game. Which is fine. That's fine. Um, I'm glad he stopped trying his best to like distract people from that, those mechanics. Because I, I don't know, I think it worked. And that was, that was like the first time I really questioned games media as an entity when they gave heavy rain like nines. I was like, what is your problem? Um, but I think the, I think his games got more honest. Um, he thinks he's a whole lot smarter than he is, I feel. Captain, now that's, that's very true. Um, I wouldn't say he's the best writer. Uh... And I think when you when you make a game that's focused on narrative, and then the, that's the quality of the narrative you're delivering, then you know you're directing a lot of attention to like a dog that can barely do a backflip. That's kind of like that's kind of what I think about it. And then it, and then it like it has this other sheen when it presents itself so formally. So then it's like a dog wearing a tuxedo doing a backflip. It like tries to pre present itself as this. Oh, this is like this is Art Nouveau. This is a totally new method of interactivity. Um, and meanwhile, I'm thinking like, nah, dog, we had, we've had like an FMV game since the nineties and that's all this is. Uh, and it's, it's really nothing else, but all the attempts to set are sort of like, ha, 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 <laughs> the, the intense hustle to try to keep you from noticing that or, or realizing that is fun, uh, unintentionally. So, uh, so I don't know. I'm glad, I'm utterly glad that, uh, that David Cage has made what he's made in the exact way that he made it. 
because I think you learn you can learn a lot about the medium of video games um, from all of his games because I think he smashes into the unavoidable restrictions of the medium all the time and and like seeing the seeing that that uh, chaos teaches you a lot I think um, I love the ambition I'll always celebrate ambition but yeah that's so that's a lot uh, that's a lot of words uh, I really want to play Omicron because to me Omicron is like is it a powerful cautionary tale about game design and narrative and just everything it, it, David Cage truly is the like he he is the uh, the cult classic uh, of our time. Kojima to a much lesser degree. Like Kojima's more like the uh, Christ. I always forget his name. They live. Uh, Assault on Precinct. John Carpenter. There we go. What oh, no, is good old friend Todd Howard? I mean, I think Todd Howard is a great game designer, a fantastic game director. What a, what amazes me about about Todd Howard's games. Is that he he shows that people people can sometimes be more interested in exploring a world than playing a game. Um, and though those two things are often synonymized with video games, but they're different experiences. Uh, there there is there are shades of that like Legend of Zelda or Dark Souls element to it. In Skyrim, where they just kind of kick you out of a cave and they're like, go. But, uh, unlike Zelda and Dark Souls, Skyrim rarely punishes you for going in any direction. There's rarely punishment of any kind. Unless you run into, like, a, a troll that just stomps you. Goodness, they're having a deep discussion and I'm not paying that much attention. Yeah, Skyrim was a mess, Kezia. But I think people kind of expected it, I guess. Just played Persona 5 Royal or Yakuza 7 this year. I started Yakuza 7. I did not play Royal because I already beat 5 and I just... I don't know that I could... I don't know that I can play through Persona 5 again. Yeah, five is long. I'm into crosscode right now. That game is, man, just thinking about it. Crosscode's so good. Picked up Genshin Impact a little bit, mostly on my phone. What'd you think of Persona 5? I liked it a lot. Um, I'm kind of struggling to remember the end now. Played the newest Fire Emblem, no. Is it Three Houses? It's another game I really want to get into. God. I don't know if it's too late to start caring about this storyline. There's so much lore in this goddamn game. I guess there ought to be. All this lore is for one weapon. An upgrade to one weapon. Try Persona 5 Strikers? <sighs> Maybe? I don't know. I... I feel generally burnt on Musou games. I bought Hyrule Warriors, Age of, End of, Age of Calamity or whatever. I was like, man, this, <sighs> this sucks too. Like, oh, I don't know what I was expecting. That was a game I bought hoping somehow that it would be more substantial than the first game and 
it immediately was like, oh, it's, uh, it's just the exact same thing. Okay. I never got into Musou. Now playing Age of Calamity on Switch, and damn, they are dope. They are dope. Um, they get much doper than Age of Calamity, which is frustrating. Um, at their best, when Musou games like exist in another... Uh, this music's music's rising up when they exist in another like more like that usually they're giant celebrations of that franchise um like gundam uso just had crazy amounts of gundams and like all kinds of nerds shit stats about all the fucking robots and stuff i was hoping for something like that in age of calamity but nah i was hoping it would be some kind of like I don't know, it could be a little lore. Like, almost like Smash Brothers is for Nintendo properties. It ends up being kind of like a digital museum. But yeah, it's fun. It's fun to burn some time. Play as your favorite Zelda characters and see the numbers level up. Right. Oh yeah, I gotta do my playtime. Ah! Oh. Shadowbringers MSQ is the only storyline of 14 worth paying attention to. Honorable mentions to the Mandeville quest in Heavensward. I, I don't know, I liked Stormblood. But then again, Stormblood was a lot more, like, rooted. It was like... It's an invasion. Or rather, it was no, it was more like... <laughs> it was more like, uh, yeah... Domestic terrorism. Basically trying to, like... Overthrow... Uh, it was kind of fun tracking the like the beats of actually trying to um, see the rebellion. Stormblood was bad. You didn't like it. I kind of wasn't in. I didn't care much for Heaven's Word mostly because it was just like it was about dragons and stuff. Games you look forward to playing aside from Cyberpunk. Hmm. I was just thinking about this. There are a few. Uh oh, oh, oh yeah, Shadow Warrior 3. I'm excited for Shadow Warrior 3. I'm like really excited for that. I wanna hopefully I have time to play through Shadow Warrior 1, because that was a really good game. Shadowbringers better than Heavensward, better than Stormblood. Oof, well. Had my hype up for Alamigo so much they ruined it all. Thankfully, Domo was dope. Yeah, I, mm, I, I, I am such a, I am so out of the loop in regards to that stuff. Oh yeah, and also I need to play uh, Dragonfall in Hong Kong. Yeah, those are fun campaigns. A lot of, a lot of fun games to. Yeah, there's so many good games to play, you guys. So many good games. Is this the, that's the big one? That's level 10? Alright. Now I gotta get 20,000 metal. 20,000 metal. But before that... I'm gonna do some roulettes. Maybe we'll get some fun music. Oh yeah, an Eden. Maybe I'll get some shit out of... Oh wait, no, wrong way. Finished Doom 2016 a few days ago. Dope. Yeah. Yeah, Eternal looks so different. It, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Oh! Eternal's, Eternal's like a whole Doom game on top of Doom, but man, it's good. All right, let's see here. It's like they took Doom and made it cartoony. Uh, I guess I can see that. It's 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 less restrained. It's less restrained than uh. Less restrained than um, uh, Doom 2016 by far. So I can see how that would make it seem more goofy or sillier or something like that. Have you not played the newest mastery level in Eternal? I don't think I have, no. Maybe I should do that. Uh, so, one second. Ipsusu, you want to do roulettes? How do, uh, let's see here. Give me your name. I can invite you to our cross world link shell, I think. Oh. What's dingling at me? Okay. Actually, wait a minute. I have to add you as a friend, and then from that, I can invite you to the Cross World Link Shell, I think. 
Yeah. Well, have you done the Hildebrand quests? I mean, yeah, there's, there's no, uh, there aren't more, are they? They, they, have they added more? Okay, you're going to be here in 20 seconds. No sweat. Uh, let's see here. So the brand one of these. Oh, there we go. Yes. Don't do the do prism. The Stormblood Hildebrand stuff is all I've got. Yeah, they haven't added any Hildebrand for uh, Shadowbringers, which feels weird. That hit me the other day. I was like, wait a minute. I haven't checked in on on our fellow gentleman in a while. Ugh. Damn it. I'm just gonna do both. I remember, like, I don't think I can invite to party from the Fellowship, but I can from the Link Shell, I think? Something like that? Currently, on my second playthrough of Cyberpunk, first was Corporate Female with Benefits, and it was great. Now I'm on to Nomad Stealth Netrunner. Damn, it's even better. Ooh. Well, I hope it... I hope... I hope a second run is, in, is entertaining for you. All right. I think... Oops. Stop it. I don't think I can invite to party from this. Yeah, it has to... I can invite from there to the Crossworld Link Shell, and then from the Crossworld Link Shell I can invite to party. I don't know why they do it like that. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, Gads, I saw you... I saw you in the thing. Do you wanna... Do you wanna join up? I don't remember who Gads is in chat. Oh wait, no, they're talking in. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I can click your chat. Never mind. <laughs> Stream fourteen again. Finally, yeah. That took me a while. I just had to beat like eighteen million Doom games. It's fine. Too many chats. Yeah. EX Roulette unlocked? I don't think... Uh, I don't think I do. Uh, I mean, I've got... Oh, shit. Yeah. But you can only... You can only roulette with four people? Oops. Okay. Wait, why would I be able to roulette with four people on a leveling dungeon? doesn't matter. Kujin, I'm very sorry. I guess we could do... I could do a trial roulette. Yeah, let's do a trial. Screw it. I can't remember. I can't remember the command to switch to cross world link shell one. Uh, you're John? Alright. I'm John Tito. It's 2021 here. I bid you all a good night and a happy new year. Thank you, John. Have a good night. I bid you a new a good new year as well. 2021's gonna be great. Alliance raid and trials give tone. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, I, I, we'll knock both of those out. Um, little dialogue icon. Yeah, this guy. 
It's like... Shit. It's CWL? It is! Okay. Yeah. That's not one, right? It's like, say... Party... Okay. I guess I could just make, like, macros to switch everything. I don't know why. I do have this. Like, I, I have my macros set to be, like... Am I doing story questing, which is this? Or am I doing, uh... Dungeons, which is this? So... That's kind of cool, right? I made macros to switch my, uh, HUD around. That's pretty pro MMO shit. There's my guy. I'll keep it to Alt L. Oh, that makes tons of sense. That's way faster. Uh, okay. While that person is relogging, I'm gonna go get uh, a buzz ball. Oh, they they're back. Well, I'm gonna get a buzz ball anyway. I'll be right back. Oh, there's another tiny person. Hello. Hello, Kujin Loon. Look at how sassy you are. It's a little bit of a dance there. Crap, I don't remember my dances. This looks like that looks like that dude's like humping the air a little bit while he's teleporting. Okay. Is it emotes? Uh what opens up the emote screen? Fine, I'll just click on it like a, like a sad asshole. Need another tank? Uh, sh sure. Yeah, actually. We can use another tank. What are you trying to do? Um, I'm just going to do some uh, roulettes, and then we might do some Eden stuff. Uh, I'm on Leviathan, the primal data center. I don't know if that influences your ability to join. And yes, Johnny Snow, that is Noctis's hair on me! Oh, you're Leviathan? Okay. Well, uh, let me know your, your character name and I can I can search for you, add you as a friend, and then add you to the group. We got space for two, a DPS, and a tank. Oh, you did. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, did you send me a friend request? <laughs> okay, there it is. Okay. And then Oh no, I stopped dancing. So tall! Such a large anime man. No, that's... that's Alt Z? No. I think I may have... Ah. I think I may have unbound it. How are you doing your link shell? Uh, I sent you an invite. I've done any of the in-game shit before. I have tried to do extremes. All right. I mean, I've done like, I've done raids and shit. Hey, what's up, Six Son? Hello, hello. Happy almost New Year's. I went with the Tequila Rita Buzzball. Hell yeah! Fucking Hades. It's a good music fight. I don't remember this. I don't remember this, it'll be fine. Ooh, 
EX isn't really in game anymore. Savage and Ultimate. Yeah. I did some. I tried to do some EX stuff in uh, Realm Reborn. Got really close to beating uh, EX Titan, I think. King Egg, you got a Series X? Damn. Glad to hear it. King Egg, I'm just, I'm vibing out on the music. God, it's so good. Oh yeah, Piccolo, it's, that's the in-game music. And it, get, it gets crazier than that. <laughs> Again, it wouldn't be a Final Fantasy game if you didn't finish by fighting some crazy ass goddamn manifestation of destiny. Alright, hit it with a sword. Series X is a big boy. That may fascinate you, sir, to learn that there's a bigger boy on the block. An even bigger console. Shit, I guess we don't stand in the middle for that. Ooh. Still got me. Oh, 
Yelp. It's a Yelp. Game can be a little dramatic, huh? Oh, yeah, you can just hit anything. More celebrations. Did I bring my fireworks? I don't think I have them on me. Ah, drat. <laughs> we beat him. Yay. What's your favorite Limp Bizkit song? I actually don't know that many Limp Bizkit songs. I need to listen to more Limp Bizkit. It's true. I am a fake Limp Bizkit fan. Although I guess technically I never professed to be one. Oh, yeah. 35 days, 4 hours, and 59 minutes. Those are tiny numbers. Those are baby numbers. Baby numbers. LT Quattro Bajina. Bahina. Thank you for the prime. Hura! Oh, I got a prime quiz. 317 days. Damn! Damn! Get out of here, clipboard. I'm just trying to get tombstones right now. Although I guess we can do eating stuff, huh? Do I have to, uh, hold on. I mean, I guess there's no check mark there. What's that all about? Wait, I can queue for this now? Am I getting dragged up because everybody else's item level? Oh, average item level 45. Well then. That's certainly something. Uh, what are the... Alright. Oh. Jamie Lannister, thank you for the sub. Happy New Year from Germany. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you. You haven't unlocked Emerald? Well, I can queue for it. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Okay. 
45s for New Eden. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, never mind. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, I see. Okay. Um. So wait, you said it wasn't the Savages? There was New Eden, but it's not... Do I have to go somewhere to unlock that? Or is this it? You have to go to unlock New Eden stuff. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Gotcha. Well, then I got some homework to do. In the meantime, I guess. Uh, yeah, I need to, I guess I need to look up where, um, I need to look up where we're going to do that. Yep. Main story quest time. Unskippable cutscenes. Yes, sir. This is what happens. He fell into my poison party. If you guys want, actually, I can bail out of the queue. And, uh... I guess you could probably leave. You could leave the party if you really need to. Lion's Raid is better for tombstones? Good point. Good point. Never mind. We'll do it. <laughs> Amarang for the new Shadow Raid stuff. Shut. Happy 2021 from South Africa. Oh, Shane. Happy 2021 to you from the United States, from California. It's not 2021 here yet, but we'll get there. Unskippable. Cut scenes. Is this the only one in this in this roulette? Every time I queue for this, I always get this. And this is memorable to me because this is like one of the only times in all of playing Final Fantasy XIV that somebody's... Somebody's flipped out on me because I wasn't healing properly or some shit. I always remember that. Like, man, that dude took Final Fantasy way too seriously. Gotta love it. Classic Final Fantasy, right? There's one more in the MSQ roulette. You got the shorter one. What's the other one? Cribble? Hey, Happy New Year! Happy New Year, everyone! your green drink that is a tequila rita buzz ball what's a buzz ball you ask why it's not but sugary syrup and liquor together at last it's a uh it's like a shitty malt liquor on the go for executives that don't have the time or the wherewithal to carry around a tall boy of four loco I'm starting with bites these are my these are my appetizers this is my uh Sugary malt liquor tapas. Oh god, this music. Oh god, the old battle theme. I've heard this so much. You're this fan are you a fan of bootlegger? Uh, I guess I don't know what that is. Perhaps I am. Pretty classic Final Fantasy vibes with this music, though. Oh, it's a fruity malt liquor? Okay. I probably would be. That sounds like my kind of trash, yeah. Getting hammered tonight? Oh, yes. Playing some garbage anime trash. I'm gonna switch up to a music game later. Play some more anime trash. It's a trash kind of night. I'm letting 2020 know how trash it was by surrounding it in trash. We get trash for trash. Exactly, Jair. They're a junior mint. Or Jair mint? Hmm. Played Fuser yet? Not yet, no. Ah, oh, Twisted. That was, for, that was 4th of July, yeah. Don't worry, I won't be getting on the roof tonight. Although I might. I could. I'm thinking about it. Jair works? Alright. JR it is. Oh, UK's about to click over. Ooh. 
Let me know if everything's different. Like it clicks over, it's 12 it's 1201, it's 2021, suddenly your dick just gets two inches longer. 2020 was holding you back this whole time. No longer. Nothing but free free garlic breadsticks. Slightly longer dick. Socks that like conform around your toes, but not in a weird way. <laughs> gets doubled in size, that's true. 100% expansion. Everyone is super hot and there's infinite money now? Pfft, finally! Technically, there's infinite money no matter what. We invented the money. We can just make more of it. Stupid. Money's just an idea, man. Hey, what's up, Mikoys? Happy New Year. This is great. How many games give you a nice coffee break, you know? Video, you're, you hit, you're gaming hard and the game's just like, hold on a minute, buddy. Hold on a minute. Maybe it's time to get up and take a little walk. Time to stretch. I have not finished Cyberpunk, no. Yeah, you're gaming a little too hard there, friend. Whoa there, chum. Got you gaming a little hard there, bud. Give a little rest. Enjoy a cutscene. Hey, what's up, Roy Boy? Happy New Year. Happy New Year from the UK. Ah! This is awesome. Get to celebrate New Year's for each individual time zone? Hell yeah! Happy New Year! Air tastes like chocolate in 2021. <laughs> What's that? Everything's better. If the air were chocolate, no one would be hungry. Soft, moist, oyster. Hello. Hello and welcome. Captain D. Captain D. Davis, you're doing it. All right. Where are you? What's going on here? Yes, I believe this was the exact the exact place. This was this was where this gentleman was was really laying into my my healing style. Just wasn't having it. I've never felt so insulted. Fireworks are annoying. You don't like them? I guess for people that have like dogs or or children, I can understand that. I'd be so pissed off. Holy crap! Hey, Death Moon. Happy New Year to you! Are we done here? Killed everybody? Yeah, I, uh... I get to just... I get to just sit here and be spoiled. I get to just listen to fireworks and be like, Yay, I'm a human with normal ears! And I get to listen to the pops. Remember when, like, some people on, like, Twitter were convinced that people were going around setting off fireworks as some kind of psyop? I mean, shit, man. For all I know, that was a thing. But... Oh, 2020's weird. So much happened. So much happened. There's been so many crazy ideas. People- everyone's been talking, dude, so much this year. I feel like the amount of words, just everybody's got words, and oh. All the words, man. Everybody's talking all the time with the words they say. Oh, I, th I think it's a goal of mine, and I understand the irony in being a streamer, because essentially words are my trade, but I'm definitely going to make it a goal to be around less words, or just like, in not, not a cloud of words, individual words, like a book. A movie. 
a, a, I want a straw of words versus just a a geodesic dome of words. Oh, yeah, just be better around words in general, Captain. Not too many words, nor nor too few words, but adjust the number, the volume, the flow of words to the right amount. No more word clusters in 2021, exactly. Exactly. Go days without speaking to a single human? I definitely would. But for the fact that I I live with a, a living human. Uh, I would I would not talk to anybody but machines. Apart from that. How long... Hmm. I was going to say, like, how long do you think it would take to go weird? Like, super weird. But I think we already have. I guess it depends when you get over the line. Like, I'm not... I'm not talking to the walls yet. But certainly, this year has changed me somehow, right? Being so isolated. Modern Samurai, thank you for the sub. And happy impending new year to you too. Definitely think the entire world is weird at the moment. Yeah. I, uh... I don't know. I, I feel like, to some degree, I've always been a little introverted, and... This is just a more extreme version of, of sort of the state of mind and the state of being I'm used to, used to living in. So, I guess what... Sometimes what I have to remind myself of is that other people aren't quite used to living in, like... A weird, endlessly churning internal isolated internal monologue maybe no salt sucks from the right that's an excellent macro this is quiet down uh people who are being a little too nitpicky you started vodka loof all right Crying in the shower later. Got that scribbled into the old planner. The old efficiency maker. You know, they're putting on a clinic in the chat box down there. I appreciate it. I've been a hermit most of my life. This year's just emphasized how many times I need to see people to feel normal. I think it's like eight times a year. That's not that many. The thing I try to think about is not necessarily how how that affects me, but for the people that like need that human energy, um, yeah, I try to think about what that what that does. Try to try to have that in my head when I uh, interact with other people. They might be. Uh, sorely lacking in a certain, like, emotional nutrient that they need. All I have is tequila and champagne. That was the, that was a whoops. One of my best friends is an extrovert. I feel for her so much. It's taken a toll to be good and to be good and drained for her ten months. I can imagine. But unfortunately that's all I can do. I can only imagine, really. Um I don't know, it's 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 so fascinating how there are things that I guess I always would have considered to be like genuinely positive character traits are like good in every circumstance and I feel like being an extra rich gotta be one of them right to be outgoing and to like maybe I'm misapplying extrovert but to, to draw energy from other people that's a good thing yeah but boy does that suck when you're not allowed to be around them it makes me wonder what it feels like I feel like I spent most of my life trying to figure out how to extract energy from other, from external relationships. Not necessarily 
doing it successfully and relying on it as a means of energy. Energy vampire? Yeah, I don't... I don't mean that. Like... I, uh... Obviously, social relationships should never be parasitic. Be mutually beneficial, you know? All I can do is the occasional FaceTime and hope it's like diet extroversion when she's kind of starved. Yeah, that's all you can do, really. Quite directly, it's all you can do. Yeah, I just, I don't know, it's, to me, to me it's almost like, it's kind, of, it's kind of the emotional version of, like, struggling to lose weight, and then there's somebody else who just can't put on weight no matter what. And, it's just kind of two sides of the same coin, and everybody's just trying to figure out how to get exactly, exactly the right amount of what they need, right? Exactly the right, right amount of anime. Ancient Villain, thank you for the prime. People in my life who are extroverts seem more stressed, and it's way easier to be alone than to meet people to get more energy. I guess that's true, but I, I don't think life is purely just like how how like little energy can you spend to get through it. You know, I, it's not really about like what's more efficient. I don't think. Not to say that that was your point either, but that's that's kind of where my head goes sometimes. You're not trying to min-max the, the experience of life. It's more to just, you know, people have different... People have different needs. And ideally, everybody can get to, to the environment that suits them best. That's what makes all this shit so terrible. People are trying to figure that, figure that stuff out in the middle of options being taken away from them. Uh, I was a complete introvert that didn't talk, but my best friend got me to open up after years and to finally talk. I enjoy being around those I care about, but still don't like people and want to be touched. It's weird. Yeah, it is weird. It's tough to know exactly, uh... That's a danger Dorito. <laughs> it's tough to know exactly how much of yourself you can just kind of take... Maybe not for granted, but just take it face value. Like, that's just who I am, that's just what I want. And how much you kind of need to think about it. Hey, what's up, Umbra? Look, it's been a long time. How you doing? It is good to see you again. I mean, if there's something called a dick bag, I think I want to get in it. I'm triangle, yay! Burrito. I see myself. Uh, excuse me. I see myself as an extrovert, but when people are counting on someone to say something, get the crowd going. Be a fool to raise spirits. Like my other side kicks in. It's weird. I get that. I get that a lot. Blue fuse. Uh, or you see yourself as an introvert, but yeah, when you have to, you you when you need to tap into people and like turn it on you can't i think i get that i haven't been watching twitch much unfortunately oh well, maybe depending if you've been busy with uh cooler stuff then that's not unfortunate at all just playing potato boy he's back this beautiful swept hair. The extrovert VTech. Yeah. Uh, introvert extrovert isn't necessarily about social skills or social anxiety. It's just about whether your tank fills or empties in groups. Yeah. That's that's the way I've heard it described. I don't know if that like is some kind of official to whatever degree it can be official, but yeah. I guess, to for me, at its core, I feel like because of social mistakes I've made in the past, I have a series of, like, safeguards, checks, uh, things, eggshells I have to walk around um, in social situations to avoid offending people or creating problems. Uh, so... I don't know what it is. There's there's just something about the, the dance. The dance comes naturally to some, and it's effort for others. If it comes naturally, then you love to dance. <laughs> because dancing is fun. But if you're spending the entire time thinking about like where your feet go, and not stepping on somebody's toes, and 
I'm, like, freaked out if you're sweating too much and wondering if your breath is fine and, and like, I think there's mints in your pocket, but no one, I don't feel them there and when will I have the chance to check? And So it, it can be tough to enjoy the ride uh, when either you're worried about things that have happened in the past or you're trying very hard to not fuck things up right now. Dinting is fun if I'm drunk, sucks ass to all their times. You just described socializing. So yeah, uh, I think the I think the uh, comparison there is pretty apt. Um, so I'm I'm a bit envious of people that can can socialize without without I guess I guess at its core just being scared, <laughs> like trying your hardest to not fuck things up. Maybe the core of that is you gotta like forgive yourself for being awkward in the past. I've tried so hard to do that. God, this music though. Oh yeah, I guess we gotta kill these guys. I haven't really been doing that much. I've been a bad little bad little white mage. No substance? Says much love from Brandon P and Maribel O. Well, hey, love right back to you guys. Happy New Year. Just when you gotta like load the cannon and fire them, right? What's up, Father Chains? Oh yeah, this little hand's gotta load him. That's right. The loader's damaged? Whoa! Carcel is going to make you cry. That's one of the things I love about 14, is that this is some old, old ass content. This is like Realm Reborn stuff, right? Uh, but, there's so much of it that when you get something in a roulette like this, maybe not in this specific one, but it's been so long since you played it and the music is all really good. So in a weird way, it is almost like a it's kind of like a I treat Final Fantasy 14 as like an anime screensaver sometimes. It just gives me a little something to do. Uh, the music is on point. The narrative is there if you are capable of following it. I'm an odd one. Instead of growing more comfortable in social situations with age, I went from being comfortable to talking to anyone in my early 20s to being 30 and unable to hang out with anyone I haven't known for 15 plus years. Devil? Yeah. I think that's that's a bit of a different dynamic. Um, in my experience, uh, socialization, the process of social, I mean, I guess it's still comparing it to a dance, I think, is, is apt spend long enough not doing it, you're gonna get worse at it. And that's gonna make you, like, not want to do it. It's gonna make you feel awkward doing it. I found that in my personal life. The less I socialize, the less I want to socialize. Uh, the more that I put myself out there, the, the less anxious I get about it, and the more I enjoy it. 
It really is about getting to that point where you can kind of just forget yourself for a little bit. Hey, Leon. You biffed the boof. Well, congrats. Oh, wait. There we go. Sid bag. We are creatures of habit. If your habit is solitude, it becomes preferable. Agree with that? Oh, yeah. Yes. Biagio Ruggiero. Thank you for coming in to say hi. Hopefully you have a great new year. And I gotta be stacking up some tomes. Maybe not. Uh, okay, I won't hit cap. 420 West Coast. Ooh, it's 420 West Coast! Oh, wait, we don't meet the... Aww. Carrie, what happened? Hold on. Thought it might be new raid time, eh? Why can't it be new raid time? Father Chains, thanks for the sub. Goodness. Carrie, where'd you go? Probably do a line raid, then I gotta head out for dinner. Okay. Oh, I need better gear? Me? Oh, you're right. Look at that. Wait, what? For a line raid? For this? Oh, maybe. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, you meant for Eden. Okay, what do you need for Eden? Well, I have to do the quests first, right? Hmm. Okay. Mine well, should be fine. It should be. It says one party member does not read the requirements. Oh, it's because you have two tanks? Only one tank in party for Alliance Raid. I did not know that. Weird. Okay. Is this Witcher music? No, this is Final Fantasy XIV music. Restart. Up. Oh. Expansion has two or three big raids. Stormblood had the tactics raid? Yeah. This one's had the near automata raids. Uh okay. And uh The Near Automata ones have been fun. The music has just been phenomenal. Oh yeah. Can't remember what the name of that one track is, but fuck it's good. <laughs> All the little like, electronic bleepy bloops right at the beginning. Thinking about it now. You got a little bunny on your head? Oh. Something with the button to... Like shift or alt or something. I think I may have rebounded. Oh, 
Oh, okay. It was scroll lock. How was your 2020 in video gaming? I beat 56 games. Uh, I actually do have a, I have a doc where I was trying to keep track of it. I do think I got, I fell behind. Um, for me, I think the biggest things were Doob Slayer. Thank you for the sub. Appropriately timed. You're about four minutes late, but uh, I am proud of myself for beating Doom Eternal on Ultra Nightmare. Uh, finally, um, and finishing up Witcher Three content. Good flips. Whoop. Larry the Cucumber, thank you for the well wishes. Let's yeet 2020 and pog into 2021. Well said, Crab Foam. Couldn't have said it better myself. Indeed, indeed, we should all strive to yeet these problems out of our lives. We should Pokemon yeet into 2021. Hell yeah. What's up, law abiding bear? Good to see a proper Ursine citizen. Where all my little pog champs are making it through 2020. I pog you all equally and powerfully. Unrequited pogs. No way. Unconditional pogs. There we go. That's the good one. YYZ Ghoul. Happy New Year to you, too. You either handle me at... If you can't handle me at my yeet, you don't deserve me at my pog. Why do you have a little... Why do you have a little oinker tail? Why are you looking at me like that? Why do you have a big old slime hat? I want a slime hat! It wiggles around! Damn it! Crap. Shit. I'm not being a good potato person if I'm not wearing a blue jumpsuit and a slime hat that wiggles around. A king slime head. Oh, that's so good. Look at it. Look at how tiny and stupid. Oh, why does that person have a pigtail? Shit. It's from an event also pig suit. Ugh. Ugh. Is it slash raid? No. Lions, there we go. Alright, don't die, everybody. We're not here to die. Get out there and hurt someone. Can't. I don't know what's going on out there. I don't know what. I have to figure out what spells I have and don't have now. have a size. What level am I? 50? Alright. Blaster from the past then. Is this a uh, coil? Oh, Crystal Tower. Okay. I did this so long ago. Oi. I did Crystal Tower back in the day, and then it was important again in Shadowbringers. Better believe I didn't remember a single goddamn thing. But yeah, Crystal Tower comes from Final Fantasy 3. Someone actually in, in chat said they were playing that. So, cool. And actually, they actually pull uh, a lot of the music from Final Fantasy 3, the Crystal Tower, into 14 for these segments. Why are your characters so small? He's so tiny. He's a tiny little boy. I'm all about the, uh, the concept of uh, density. Magical density. Uh oh, what is this? I don't know if I should take this orb anywhere, just let it chase me forever. Ah. I 
Should I eat this orb? Alright, I'll eat the orb. Orb. There we go. Okay, it just does an AoE. Yeah, I'm like an odd job in Goldeneye, exactly. Tiny hitbox. All these spells, they fly right over my head. And I can, like, crawl through crowds of people. Oh, you take the orb to the thing. Alright. Each tower needs to be fed three orb. That makes sense. Sure. I imagine you can't drag the orb through other players. Sorry, I wasn't healing properly. <laughs> I saw that! <laughs> Did they run Crystal Tower to SGDQ? I know they've done like a... Uh, they've had Final Fantasy XIV exhibitions. Oh, look at these big boys. Oh, orb. Gotcha. Never mind. Man. That's one thing that does bum me out. It's like... I, I, my need, my social needs are not that high. But I do get a bit of a kick out of out of some parasocial shit. And uh, the crowd cam at Games Done Quick was a delight. Uh, not quite a cringe farm like it has been in the past. But even then... Oh, oops. Delightful. I miss I miss it. I miss it so much. It just doesn't hit the same to like have just a static static hold screen or, or animations play between uh, between runs. Uh, there's nothing they can do about that. Not a commentary on the on the production in the slightest. I feel like S or AGDQ cringe is overblown. It absolutely is. It's um there's one thing I learned. Uh is that people people who are, are even a little bit socially self-conscious overreact to any any amount of social self social awkwardness because I think they, there's a bit of projection there you think about situations where you've been that person and you hate it and it makes your skin crawl and you want to die um, so I do think that that uh, that it is a bit of an overreaction, but I think that's because of the people reacting to it. And they may have a predisposed sensitivity to that kind of thing. That's a bit of a shame, too, because i got to be honest, like... I liked that because in the same way of, of talking about how socialization gets easier the more you do it, I do also kind of believe in the value of, of exposure therapy when it comes to socially awkward situations. Mostly, I think, to help people realize that, and, and I, I'm saying this about myself, you know, if you want to throw it back to projection, I'm saying this as much about myself as I am anyone else. Um, I think the uh, there's a lot of things in social interactions that are just going to be a little messy. That's just part of it. It's part of the dance, you know? Uh, and I think a lot of uh, a lot of social interactions can also be learning the grace to move past small social moments of small social awkwardness, I think. To just be able to like just roll through that stuff. I think that uh, that's part of the dance, I think. Adjusting, course correcting. And I think uh, people, you know, they're, they're doing the social interaction thing, they hit a bump and then it puts them in a negative mind space and they start to tumble down this weird rabbit hole. Whereas I think if you just, if you kind of ease off the gas a little bit, accept that maybe sometimes things are awkward but it's not that big of a deal and you just kind of move on, 
Uh, I, th I think I think there's value sometimes in showing people being people and how that's not something to be ashamed of and it's not something to make anyone feel awkward about. People can just be people just hanging out. Maybe they dance a little weird. People do that. They're just having a good time. They ain't hurting you. Everything's cool. So yeah, I don't know. Part of, part of me is like, yeah, I get the overreaction to it, but I also think... I think that kind of means people maybe should have to sit with that a little bit. A little bit. I cringe at things a lot, but I keep it to myself. That's, uh... That's the true... That's the true nerd's way. Just be is something that took me a long time to learn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's... it's it's weird how it, it never naturally occurs to, to people. That's just part of the impossible complexity, you know, of, of human interaction in general. But yeah, you don't have to like, you don't have to talk. <laughs> you, know, you don't, you don't have to like drive the conversation. You're not responsible for making sure that every interaction with or around you goes smoothly and coolly. That's not on you. The only thing that's on you is to just not be like aggressive. Don't don't go out of your way to ruin anyone else's time. And just be yourself. Cringe is so 2020. I crung <laughs> like a real 2021 inhabitant. Yeah. Ah. I think a lot of that stuff is just. It's just you know. People figuring out their own shit too. Arrow 2. What a savage spell. Ah, I'm a frog. I turned into a ribbity frog. I got toad breath. Bleh. Oh, I'll help. You seem a little a little warm there. A little little chilly. Let me warm you up with my spicy toad breath. Why did I turn into a... <laughs> why did I turn into a, a toasty frog? I don't know why that happened. <laughs> Do the mechanics. You got it. Ooh. I'm dead. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't looking. What I wish people would stop doing is assuming other people's emotions, reactions, and thoughts... Oh, by their facial expressions and bodily pose. I look angry when I'm generally calm most of the time. Better stop assuming somebody is angry or overwhelmed online just because they explain something. It's irritating when somebody writes calm down online because you don't know what that person is going through and their expressions aren't properly conveyed. Yeah. Yeah. There's a host of aggravations, I think, that come from a lot of our co communication being over text. And... It, it's interesting. You kind of you kind of mentioned the gaps that happen both times. So people overassuming because of your nonverbal cues, and then people overassuming because they don't have any nonverbal cues to go off of. You know, it's like you get burned both ways. People assume too much from your physical demeanor, but then they assume too much from not being able to hear you talk or explain yourself calmly. Or that calm down thing. I'm like, I'm, I'm not mad. Why did you think I was mad? Somehow I'm more mad now that you've said that. I hate communicating over text for that reason. I have such a complicated rea uh, relationship with it. I prefer it because it's less... It, 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 it evokes less social panic. <laughs> like, there's less to think about. Uh, there's less to worry about. I get a chance to sort of check what I say before I say it. I get a chance to think about it before just saying some dumb shit that has some implications I didn't think about. Uh, and then like insult somebody or piss somebody off and then put me in a weird position of having to like apologize and like it's a whole thing. Like that just doesn't happen over text. But I, basically, I don't feel as much like an idiot <laughs> over text, I think is how it, what it boils down to. Um, but at the same time, it causes way more problems for sure so it's it's weird oh no i didn't oh no 
I realized that way too late. I saw it happen way too late, though. That was one of my... That was an early, uh, early warning sign, though. I remember... I remember thinking that it was not a good sign that I could actually, like, talk to and flirt with girls online fine, but I couldn't do it in person at all. I was like, oh, something's broken there. Something's not right. And that kind of led me to sort of examine the way that I communicate online and the way that I communicate in real life and, and alter the two? Or, or sorry, what was, what was the difference between the two? And what I eventually had to admit to myself was that there was a bunch of, like, reactionary bullshit that I did in real life that I actually knew were negative behavior patterns, but didn't know how to stop them in real time. But I did know how to screen them out if I was talking over text. So I was like, oh, okay. I actually do have some garbage in my head I gotta deal with. Oh, Nick, you're drinking a 20% ABV beer? Ooh, I, damn it, I did it again. I did it again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got distracted by 20 ABV beers. slowing it down. Whatever. We got lemon breaks popping. <laughs> well, at least I got... I got Ipsy cheering for me. Yay! Memphisuga, thank you for the cheer. Got champagne for later tonight? Maybe vodka? Yeah. We've got some champagne too, but I don't know if we're going to get into it. Who knows, man? Who knows? Well, that was delightful. Post-argument text can lay the cards on the table clearly. Let's you better explain in a format than talking. That's true. But... I do think there's a lot to be said for nonverbal communication in the, like, reconciliation phase. I think sometimes you can reconcile over text, and that gives you the chance to be very tactical about what you say. Um, and I think sometimes uh, it's easier for people to angle on what they want over text. Can maybe... Can be a little... Can be tool. I wor that's, that's the thing to think about. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. My private message is on. Uh, I don't know that I've ever messaged or messed with private messages at all. I mean, I can receive like mail, I think. General tab in the chat box. Uh Pressing it. Oops. Now it's gone. Oops. Damn it. Hold on. I clicked too much. Wait, it's just fucking gone. Where'd it go? It's not turned off, it's just gone. Press enter and we'll come back up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Turned it off in the settings? Mm. Yeah, it's doing the noise, but it's not showing up. Uh, let's see here. Nope, oh, wouldn't be that. Or would it? Oh, there's a lot of shit in this game. Click the cog, the right of link shell. No log filters. Oh yeah, I probably turned that shit off. Alright. 
Is that what you mean? The tells? I think people were... I was getting a uh, spam tell to join, like, some shit. I don't remember. Uh, Stable Ice, thank you for the sub. All right. Tells are turned on. Yeah. I remember hearing the sound and, like, looking at the thing and being like, there should be something there. There we go. Just don't send me any unsavory tells and we'll be good. We'll be good regardless. Okay, I need to do... Let's see here. I need to do the quest line to unlock Eden things. I gotta look up what that is. Isaac says, this is sort of text related, but I experienced uh, this interesting generation thing. Parents got a... Got my sister a gift for her wedding and never got a thank you card. She handed them multiple, or she thanked them multiple times and shared her experiences with it. A camera shared her art with it. They were still pissed they didn't get a thank you card in the mail. Her and I saw it as a no big deal because she expressed her thanks multiple times already. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's an honoring. Um, that's tough. Yeah, there's a generation who's very much like, you get a card. That's just what you do. Uh, and if you don't do that, then we're not grateful. Yeah, that's that's some uh. That's some America's Heartland kind of stuff. Here, I'll, uh, I'll just ban the old party. Thank you guys for playing for now. I'll go try to unlock this new Eden stuff, but first, I'm going to go unlock a trip to the restroom, and then also another buzz ball. So, uh, but yeah, my parents got a little, they have their own things too. Yeah, it's just what you do. It's just what you do. P P P unlocked. See you soon. Oh, oh, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. With the horchata, horchata buzz ball. Nothing like a bunch of non-dairy creamer to grease up the slide into a nice night of drunken gaming. Uh, I gotta go to. <coughs> Excuse me. Gotta go to Amarang. I don't know where that is. I hope it's in this list somewhere. And it doesn't cost a lot to get to. We're probably only only gonna get one of those things. There it is. Yep. Is it pretty easy to tell what to do? Got flying an Amarang? I I should. I have flying in most places. I can't think of a place that has flying that I haven't gotten it in. You got a Mortsuk? Oh, well. It's a blue quest. Should be easy. Oh, my gill. Really? So, like, wait a minute. It's one of these? Oh, there it is. Oh. Right. Right. Right, 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 right. Ah, there was a, some like citrus juice in the Tequila Rita Buzz Ball. Ah! And for some reason citrus always like just makes me gummy. Maybe I have like a 1% allergic reaction to citrus, but it always makes my like sinuses gum up real good. Work done drink time. Yes! Congratulations, Ace. Happy New Year's. Ains J says, Happy New Year from the UK. I'm singing the New Year by watching the quintessential gamer in his sweet and subtle tones as I doze blissfully to sleep. Completed Doom Eternal today for the first time. 10 out of 10. Hell yes! You're ringing in the New Year with some big gamer energy already. I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm doing the other kind of gamer thing. Which is tabbing through the world's most lore-dense outrageously long hyper anime game ever what percent drunk am i i would say at about a 35 35 40 oh you haven't handed the last eden quest in like from the the last eden stuff oh okay i didn't know we'd be picking the storyline up again i thought this was actually done i was thinking about this i was like well i guess last last we left it they figured out how to rebalance the magic energy or whatever I guess we're good though. This gothic Lolita emo is back. <laughs> Anime's lesbian power team. I 
I was gonna say video games lesbian power team, but that's V and Judy and my playthrough of Cyberpunk. Oh, Ziltoid, thank you for the 10 subs. Happy New Year. Man Mountain, nice. Nice. It's gonna take a while to come up. It's gonna take a, uh, what, 10 gift subs? Again, thank you, Ziltoid. But someone has been subbed for a very nice number of months, nice. Ask about the snacks. Very like Chrono Cross track. Ah, uh, they're having lighthearted anime times. That's what this music tells me. Talking about crystals, because of course they are. Oh, because you're going to bed? All right. Happy New Year. Have a good one yourself. Oh, there it is. Nice. Okay, yeah. Gotta go to that other zone. Shroom. Ah! Flying an Emmerang confirmed. Finally managed to get a friend of mine addicted to Swotor, so I don't gotta do flashpoints alone. Yes! Look at these real human bonds being forged. Forged in iron. Ah, come on, Nick. Lolita isn't exactly... Well, Gothic Lolita is different. Gothic Lolita is a kind of fashion. That is different than Lolita the novel, which is indeed some pedo shit, <laughs> as you say. Character looks like Noctis if he got bonked. Are you saying that because I'm riding on a unicorn? But yeah. I mean, it, there was like a... There was, what, a, the like Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition? It almost looks like that Noctis. That Noctis was even a little more like squat, but. Oh yeah, I got my little, I got my little shark. Love this little guy. Was it the Major General? <laughs> Where are you going, shark? Cute tiny shark. I had to fish so much for you. There you are. There's my beautiful man. Yay! Time. I didn't think they were going to add more to Eden. Damn. There's like four more stages? What do they call them stages? Encounters? Levels? Floors? They always do 12? Oh, I guess that's true. Okay. I don't think I ever really followed any of the other, uh, like, raid dungeons that way. Which is weird. I, I don't know what was going on. 
Like, I think my life situation had already changed by the time Coil was hitting for uh, um, Realm Reborn. Three sets of four bosses? Okay. So, shit. And there's a lot to do. We have four more bosses. The raid, man. Ugh, some of the stuff they have with the raid, the raid bosses is so good. That means there's like four new songs to hear. That by itself is very exciting. The Muhammad raids have three because the Realm Reborn launched with five. Oh, 13. Gotcha. Those whiskers or facial hair? Why can't they be both or either at the same time? They're cute. That's what they are. And her hair is losing it. Is everyone so tiny? That's a good point. Oh, something bad happened. Here's your problem. You got a crystal, but a bad one, not a good crystal. Gotta get that crystal out of there. See? There's like, there's more anime story going on over here. This is not in any way related to the other cutscenes we saw in that other thing. <laughs> Completely separate gameplay thing. This is just the stretch out before they give, they drop more bosses on your ass. Oh, that's from Final Fantasy VIII, by the way. VIII's been their, their big, uh... Yeah, that text box was pretty good. Oh, I, uh, speaking of cool looking text boxes, I didn't even know this was, um, oh yeah, and then there's, uh, the world theme from Final Fantasy VIII here. Ah, it's so good. Uh, speaking of cool looking windows, where the heck was it? Hold on a minute. There. Uh, you can actually open up like a whole fucking near automata lore dump, which is pretty cool. And it's like patterned like the game. I was like, oh, I didn't even know this was here. I was just diving around some menus. I mean, on top of that, they also have this thing. So this is, God, in the, uh, so in the mode I was playing before where, um, I was in that, like, giant instance arena with a bunch of other players. They also spawn a ton of, like, NPCs with names in those fights to make it feel like you're on, like, this giant battlefield to, you know, varying success. But, uh, they drop these, like, lore entries about the NPCs there. So, they have, like, backstories for all those characters, too. And those, I guess, are tied into some other story. I don't know, I haven't read any of this stuff. This is a significant amount of lore. Um... So I have no idea how, how good or valuable any of this stuff is. But Jesus Christ. So many words. Love it. It's the biggest anime. There's there's animes 
this the universe of Final Fantasy XIV is like 200 animes all happening all at the same time. And that, sir, is a lot of anime. You're not playing as a cat girl? I rolled this character before cat girls were playable. And I think a little magical Guy Fieri potato boy is a pretty solid close second. It's an anime metaverse, yeah. <laughs> it kind of is. It is harder to imagine a per more perfect game for me. Just like a, a mega mix of a ton of Final Fantasy things. Like, like more, it's more kind of integrated to the Final Fantasy franchise than Kingdom Hearts is. Which is weird considering that was supposed to be also a, a kind of cross-property celebration of Final Fantasy. Disney really kind of took over that one. Or their own independent lore and story, which is... Who knows, man. But yeah, the fact that it's just a big, a big grab bag of Final Fantasy references. What you get on your 1.0 character if you carry them over to 2.0? Oh, I, uh... My 1.0 character is my retainer. Yeah. I don't know if there was a special item with that. You have a legacy tattoo? I may. I played 1.0. And I'm on the same... I'm on the same account. I played 1.0 for, like, a few days. I was like, nah, no. It was broke my heart because I loved Eleven. Um, that sucks. But then, yeah, when Two Point hit, I was like, oof, I'm into this. They fixed it. They fixed it all. Potentially a goo Gubu tattoo and a Legacy Chocobo. I thought your character's stupid face so much. What do you mean? What do you mean? Why would you hate this? Ooh, look at him. He's ooh. He's defiant. Ooh, he's mad. He heard you say that. He heard- he did. He's mad at you now. You see how mad he is? Harumph. Exactly. Oh, he's so fierce. <laughs> anyway, he's got earrings in one ear. And a soul patch. And just like pretty thin eyebrows too. Pretty- <laughs> pretty thin ones. He's angry. <laughs> He's the warrior of light. He saved the world multiple times. All right. This is FL Seal now. Ooh, his horns. potato man. Imagine his stupid shitty face looking at you like that. His little potato face looking up at you. Oh my god damn it. Oh, I gotta really think about this dialogue option. Some cyberpunk level. Bang. Is this Shadowbringer side quest stuff? Yeah. This is Eden. I guess. New raids they just added. Oh, Wombat, you leaving? Alright. See you later. Happy New Year. Tad loud. Yeah. Maybe I just need to get more up in here. I don't know. I feel like I feel like the music is really good, so I'm trying to amp it a little bit. 
Video transition was good. Uh, or look cool. What was that? There is a... Um, there's an OBS plugin that lets you keyframe uh, parameters of other, other plugins. I'm trying to remember what it's called. This. I don't remember. Uh, I think it. Uh, there's a YouTube video that I can try and dig out that uh, that points to it. But essentially, if you look for like key uh, OBS keyframing, I think that should should point you to it. I got Eden and Emerald in the roulette the other day and got absolutely creamed. Yeah. Oof. I haven't done Emerald yet. Or the new Eden stuff, so. I'm excited to get stomped. I want to fight something in the astral plane. I feel like it is always kind of a... It really does feel like I'm opening a present. I feel like every time I do a new raid in 14. Because there's going to be some kind of crazy trippy wild ass visual there's going to be a appealing ass music track of some kind yeah Oh, shit. Are you with me if you can do it? Uh, I'm, I'm not 85? Yeah, so I can't. Well, that's, uh, that's what roulettes are for. Eh, I don't think I can buy anything. Which just wasn't monthly. Uh, does it have a wild play to pay system? I don't think so. I don't think you can earn like end game time with currency or anything like that. Huh. I do like your cat hat. I should probably do that. Oh. You can't give me things. What? This is a, uh, all right. I'll take a, I'll take that. Yay! Wait. There we go. Yeah, no handouts. You pour in the gill. I mean, I'm not, I'm not broke, but. I can't really, like, just buy my way into higher items. Maybe I could? Maybe? Gazadona? Hey. I haven't seen you on Twitch in, like, a year. Well, shit. I've been here. I've been here. I've been, I've been doing it. Alright, well... I guess it's roulettes to get, uh... Switch market board. Yeah. I'll... Yeah, here. Let's do that. Let's see, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Maybe I can buy something. Last time was 2020. Ooh! Ooh! You haven't seen me for an entire year, man! Damn! Shit. I'll see you next year, bro. Oh, fuck. I love that stuff. Alright, so yeah. This guy. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I gotta... Come on. What? He doesn't show up? Ah, oh, lame. That's right, I just have to talk to this... I'm in a different dimension, it's, you know... Fantasy stuff. Well, crap. Okay. Uh...
Is there not a market board in Yulemore? There's not. You have to go to that other place. Alright. Good Crystarium gear. Maybe you have enough tomes. I don't know. Yeah, you gotta go to the Crystarium. Okay. Oh, love you, shark. It's here. Is it? Is it now? Too late. Oh, there's an NPC. Oh, okay. Oh, Gaza, thank you very much for the sub. It's like down here. Market board, all right. Yes. Yes. I'll go back into, I'll go back into adventuring mode. There we are. What is this? What is this? What? More quests to unlock more things? Man of Zork. Thank you for gifting five subs. I appreciate that. Exarchic stuff? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah! Probably 10. I mean, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's worth it. What am I wearing? What's that about? Hold on. Showing an awful lot of shoulder there, my man. Wearing your little combat blouse? Yeah, you're tough. You're a tough guy. With your hairless pink shoulders sticking out like that. Cool. Very cool. It's like off the shoulder. If there's any like drips from the ceiling, it'll just go right down my back. I walk under an AC unit and just... <laughs> little slutty potato. <laughs> oh, you thought I was talking about my real life outfit? I mean, basically. Yeah, look at you. Okay. And then there, I think it was my, yeah, my pants. Okay. I'll get good pants. I'll make mother proud of me. Oof, I cannot afford pants. Pants too strong. I guess I can get those. 480? Uh. Maybe boots, maybe? Maybe boots? Exarchic boots? Okay, that's, that's, that's better. That's good. I got my got my healing sandals on. Oh, look at these stupid shoes. What is it? What is going on there? What is happening with these shoes? I see my feet in there, my tiny feet. Why? I want to hold on. Blah. Blah. What is with this this exar exarchic, what is it called? Exarchic, exarchic trick. Exarchic set. That's just like, we're just gonna chop random parts out of it. Shoulders gone, side of the shoes out. Don't need them. I wonder what the knees, are, like just this window with the thigh. Thighs, gone. Oh, slippers of healing, yeah, I got... <laughs> Damn it. This is like a weird... A kind of a weird bondage outfit. Oh! Yay! Alright. Oh, I did that. Alright, let's do it. Let's raid. Let's raid. Is anyone still in the link shell? Hold on. CWL. There we go.
those little feet, those little potato feet. <laughs> Is that you jumping into frame? Paprika spice. Despite my uh, my intentions, I did have to turn off player handles. All right, here we go. Here we go. Zhboom. Zhboom. Zhbam. What was the other thing I was? Oh yeah, uh, emerald weapon. I can do that now. Is this scroll lurking? Uh, I don't know. That's Paprika Spice. Who knows? She's just hanging out. There's Timmy Rahal... Ralala. There, there's... Yep. There's just a lot of... There's a lot of colorful people in Final Fantasy XIV. Ziltoid. Thanks for gifting 20 subs. Back at it, huh? We got the Ziltoid cannon firing off. Boom! It's gotta be a good 2021 now. Thank you very much, Ziltoid. Out the darkness. Get ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> this makes me a little uneasy. I, I don't know. Just wanna make sure everything's fine. Hope you're having a good, uh, a good New Year's. It worked, Gaia. We've done it. Any requirements to join your crossworld? None. Just be chill. Be chill and want to play a sick game. I don't play that often. I guess that's the thing to be upfront about. I like this game a lot, but I, uh, I get pretty easily distracted and. Oh shit, all right, wait, hold on. Zoop, there we go. So, ooh, ow. Fuck. Uh. Shit. Uh. <laughs> Already got him. Two people can't you can't stand on the same square for too long. Oh, shit, yeah, not 100% what was going on there. Oh no! Not want them to. Eh? Oh.
and only at 60%. Ugh. Up now, Speamy. It's good to see you again. Happy New Year. Shit. Oh, that's it. Okay, I'm not sure what, uh. Huh. Decided to quit alcohol on New Year's Eve. I'm saying I'm gonna go back to gambling. Well, hey, if, uh. If you can, uh, if you can cut down on the number of, uh, the number of vices in general, that's a pretty good one. Move when it turns purple? Okay. That's a pretty easy one. Oh, we lose some people. that the way oh miss pew thank you very much for the sub for the prime yeah one wipe on normal pretty expected right let's see here we need one more tank huh actual garbage hello happy new year these buttons. I gotta hit F8 now. I'm trying to teach myself to use the keyboard more to like quick target and heal on demand. So her melee, I don't, I don't know exactly how to like prepare for that or not be in the way of that. I guess if you're just like really, really close to her like 50-50 axis, you can always very quickly dodge over. So maybe that maybe that's just the positioning strat is like be right on her like right on her tail. So no matter which side she goes to, you can always just take a little hop step. Yeah, butthole strats. I think I get this. You basically have to, like... Oh, shit. No! 
fuck. Okay. I wasn't even thinking on that wavelength. Okay. But like... Love that sound. Man. That's the sound of hope. That high pitched chirp of somebody getting revived. I gotta remember to, like, gotta remember the butthole strats. everybody up there. What's happening? Ugh! Oh, same thing. I don't know how to. I don't know how to not get hit with that. I, I don't understand. I feel like I gotta. Keep watch of her staff hand. It, so wait. It goes to her like her her left side all the time. Attacks the glowing side. Well, I mean, if you're referring to the ground, like by the time I see what side the ground is going, it's too late. Watch for the hand that glows. Oh, okay. I will do that. Oh, there's, I see glowing that time. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Uh, I thought I was. I thought I was safe.
Okay, okay. I think I saw the glow. I saw it that time. There's so many different kinds of glow. Trying so hard to not die. Trouble goats today sucks. Any cleansing of negative vibes? Give them and give them up unto the internet. Let them go. Do I want to roll on any of this shit? I don't know what this does. Shut us through there. Oh, okay. thank you, Ace. Thank you for the cheer. So I'm just gonna be trained for special headgear. Is there like exchange for Eden gear? Can you only get roll on so many? On one piece of gear or gear enhancing material obtainable per week. Gear or gear enhancing material. Yay, okay. One drop from each fight? You need multiple? You can only get one a week. Ugh, okay. One drop from each fight, one slot each. So I get one of those per slot, but it takes multiple items to get an... Okay, I think I get it. All right. But... Hmm. So I've taken the one chest item I'm allowed this week. Oh, you're back? Um, sure, if, uh... Uh, generous thank you to a lovely anonymous gifter. Oh, eight months of wonderful content in this great community. Thank you so much, and everyone, love you all. Oh, was that the message from the anonymous gifter? Well, thank you for thank you for surfacing it again. Yes, thank you very much for this uh, the sub. Oh. Thank you very much. So I couldn't resub. I have to pay the bills this week. Please do that. Please absolutely do that. Pay your bills. Cover yourselves. Be safe. Oh, that was my messenger. Okay, yeah, yeah. Person who's saying it on their behalf. Ooh. Uh. No. It's lore time.
We got fancy text boxes. I love this storyline. I I liked the idea of trying to like rebalance the magic energies of of that area. I'm I'm always a fan of JRPGs sort of trying to deal with some kind of story after like after the the boss battle happens. It's uh it's one thing that doesn't happen much in games like you can destroy the villain, but how do you then build something after that? That's one of the things I like about 14 a lot, is that since it's not... The JRPG doesn't end, so they, they always deal with the aftermath. And, you know, that that can be just as uh, far-fetched and, and magicked out of the ether as anything else. But Okay, so you only get one piece of gear for that raid once a week. You need multiple of that piece later to turn in to get really good gear. So I can take as many pieces as I want, but I only get one piece of gear. So I should roll need on every piece because that won't lock me out of getting anything else. Is that the case? To get a chest piece this week, you need to pick up three more chest pieces. Okay, and that is possible. I am not gated on the amount of pieces I can get, merely what I can redeem them for. Roll for what you want. That I've been burned by that before in gear in gear systems, where like you the drops are only uh are restricted. Like I get one thing that's just slightly better than one slot, but my other slot has really garbage shit in it. That's the that's what I'm trying to avoid. You get one thing from each floor per week. Okay. Can that thing be a piece? One of the four pieces required to, uh... So if I did the four new Eden stages, and on each Eden stage I, I rolled need on a chest piece, I could get a new piece of chest armor. That's it, right? Uh, Architecture in Tokyo, thank you for the prime. Anonymous Gifter, thank you for the gift. You like these vibes? I'm glad to hear it. Okay, I'm glad I understand. Can you not sell on one unwanted items? You can, but uh, it's harder to get items that you need. You get four pieces for chest or leg. Two can get you feet, hands, head. One is all this needed for belts and accessories. Okay, I should have thought this out better. I impulsively chose chest. That kind of locked me into a few options. I think... Uh, I think getting two pieces of gear with the feet and hands and head would have been better, but it is what it is. You will get a new chest, not a chance for one. Where? Well, you get a new chest just for finishing the uh, the Eden dungeons or the Eden raids. Yeah. Annette, I, uh... It didn't occur to me that I actually just bought new chest armor. So, I think, I think I'll do what, what you, what you suggest, which is I'll get one more chest and then do, uh, do feet, I think. Uh, get new boots. That seems to be the best. But, uh, I'm not really scraping for item level anymore. some shit happening. Oh shit. Death John has decided to play the most dangerous game. VIP or ban. In which case, or sorry, in which case I hit this button here. A random script chooses whether or not you get VIP status on the channel or banned for an hour from chat. This is the mark of somebody who has watched the channel a long time. and They've wagered it all on this one moment. Death John, let's see what happens. Alright, you 
you have until I finish typing this? Oh, oh no, Dead John, I'm sorry. Well, let's remember him fondly. But Death John is now banished. Wait, I did this totally wrong. Never mind. He will be soon, once I do this correctly. There we are. Ah. <laughs> the reverb <laughs> reverse fart. It's a nice touch. Yeah. <laughs> or the yeah, the reverberation. I wanted <laughs> I wanted it to sound like it was playing in a large stadium. So yeah. I threw on the echo. How long is VIP? It's forever. Uh so you you roll VIP once, you've got it for, for the rest of time, and that's the only way to get VIP status in this channel. So you have to save up enough points and then roll a 50-50 shot. So, I apologize, Death John. Do you play for story or gameplay? Both? But it's very difficult to follow every single storyline in this game. So some of it just kind of goes by. You know, it's just anime. It's just in the background. Okay. There's spirits and, and emotions and stuff. Uh, Nick, thank you for the prime. Oh, Gamanra, hey, thank you for the sub. Hope you're doing well. Also, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well. I'm doing very well. It's good to see you. It's good to see you again. Hopefully, you're doing okay. Yeah, ban is for an hour. VIP is forever. I can have a hundred VIP people, I think, and we're still under ten. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you just can't chat. Yeah, so poor Death John is not allowed to chat for the next hour. But I don't know. I feel like uh, I uh, I wanted to I wanted to do VIPs based on watch time because because really the the lurkers are going to inher inherit the earth. Um, so I wanted that to be a factor. But also, I w I like the I like the little seed of chaos. I like the danger. I'm thinking. Of, I'm thinking about having like a a bit of a catch-all just in my own head, in my own mind, and in my own heart. I feel like if I watched a stream for just years on years on years. And, uh, like, spun, spun four or five times. Each time was a ban. Each time. I would actually start to get a little, a little salty about that. I'd get a little, I'd get a little fiery. So, in my own head, in my own heart, I know that I'll have, I'll have a bit of a catch. Like, if I know somebody's hit ban, like, three or four times, I'll just be like, okay. Give to the house. After that first ban, I've been hesitant to try again. You should try again. You should. I won't let you get banned like six times in a row and have nothing going on for it. But some salt is, is understandable. You get banned twice and it's a permanent ban? Yeah, three strikes. Three bans in a row and you're kicked out of the channel. That's probably like, I don't know, like seven years of viewing? No, gone. <laughs> Not allowed. Oh shit. Anthrax is in here. Redeemed it. The points were there. Decided to do it. Okay, Anthrax bees, here we go. I'm gonna hit this button. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, Anthrax, you've been a you've been a wonderful member of chat. <laughs> you sent you sent your points to die nobly, and there they are. Oof. 
Oh, another hour. Ugh. Now Anthrax B is removed from chat. Everything wagered. Nothing gained. Everything lost. In fact. Oh. Oh, the tragedy. <sighs> this is life. Truly, it is. Oh. The stakes. The furor. The loss. Yeah, I don't know what's going on in this story. Anthrax, I'm very sorry. You've been in chat a lot. Always, always kind. Always had a good word. I appreciate that. Definitely a name I've seen over the years. And that makes me feel a way. Yeah, 2020, claiming more victims. Knocking them down. Knocking them down before the year's out. Man, I should probably be reading this. Loof, you want to take the ban for him? Ah, it's too late. Has anyone ever become a VIP? Yeah, I think there's like five or six. Yeah. Of Converse, thanks for the prime. Deep lore about the very fabric of the crystals. Light and dark. Crystals. The crystal. Right, he's already dead. <laughs> he's dead. Anthrax is dead. Can reread using the cutscene replay housing item. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the, there is a Whoa. there is a lore button to go back and hit. Man, what a what a weird way to spend a day. Just going back into your your apartment and watching every cutscene from Final Fantasy XIV, trying to actually read and, and process it all. Oh, Moskin, you're right. Lost two brave souls in the blink of an eye. Makes you reflect. Makes you think. <laughs> Watch the lore like a real fan? I mean, I did. I was here. I have been in a chair at a computer for every single second of lore that Final Fantasy XIV has had to offer. But that's about all I can say. It probably meant something to me in the exact moment that I was reading it. Am I having any, any drinks tonight? Yeah, I'm, I'm two beers and two buzz balls in, my guy. I'm feeling pretty smooth right now. I'm for VIP. <laughs> VIP or ban is one shot for me. <laughs> I made it. I made the price so unconscionably high. Just because I don't want people getting alcohol poisoning. Like drinking cocoa or something? Or playing Doom 2 to watching this? It makes me feel good. People studying the classics.
Oh, you just started reading Masters of Doom? I haven't read that yet. I should. I should. I don't know, something... Uh, I guess I just assumed that it would be dramatized. 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 Is there seriously no voice acting in this game? There is a fair amount of it. This is just pretty uh, end game content. Maybe normally this actually would be voiced, but yeah, a, a fair amount of this. If you get into, if you get under the surface, a fair amount of this game is pretty classic JRPG, which is to say you're going to be reading. And I kind of don't, uh, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Pay Money Webby has a 1 million point redeem that says end the stream. <laughs> yeah, just shut it down. I feel like, I feel like, uh, well, well, that is an awesome idea. Uh... And to give that much power to one person is a really fun concept. What I would never want to do is come up with a mechanic that actually invites people to get mad at somebody. Because uh, everyone can see who redeems that reward. So if if people are enjoying a stream and then somebody shuts it down, I, I it's kind of funny to imagine that because it's kind of also on them because they chose to do it. But at the same time... I feel like maybe some people might do it not knowing that other people can be insane. Can be actually crazy. Outrageously banana pants. Uh, just wondering, your oh, your New Year celebration's already happened in the UK? I got more malt liquor waiting in the fridge, that's me. Yeah, six more hours. Six more hours here. I'm gonna hop on a call with some friends in a minute. I'm actually gonna throw the stream to clips when I do that. Uh, just kind of chat with people, but. So, uh, there will be a, a, a mini media tech in maybe 10 to 15 minutes here. Six, where are you? Me? I am in Pacific Time, Los Angeles. Pesky Asians. I've seen a stream where people can just straight gamble their points on a 50-50. The amount of people who always bet all their points is crazy. Oh yeah, I guess I guess with the wagering system you can't just set it up. Uh Uh. Uh. Channels use it for gambling lately. Hell yeah! Well, it has no monetary value, so it's fine. It's like surprise mechanics in a video game. Done, little dad. Thank you for the cheer and for the validation. Appreciate that. Ooh, it's a PNG. Beautiful. Look at how beautiful she is. There's my girl. Uh, okay, I got about, well, no, I think I'm gonna take a bit of a break. Take a bit of a break, I'm gonna get up on my stretch. Uh, I think we'll go into some clips. We'll go into some random clips here. Uh, Cause I'm gonna go on a New Year's call with some old friends, chat with them for a little bit. So I'll leave you guys with that for a while. Uh, but I'll be back later with Beat Mania. Which is a bunch of really intense, like, J-Rock and EDM and stuff like that. So, a couple of hours, uh, and then I'll be back. And then I will see you guys then. Right, bye, everyone. For now. This is the dynamic...